everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about assets, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you know we have some crypto updates. The SEC, the Debt Box Node, and the Boogie Gopher Club. There's only a small portion of updates for that. And we're going to talk about business, real estate, and stock investing. You know the way you create wealth, ladies and gentlemen, and you can do it in any economy. So don't let anything that's happening now stop you, but you got to get it because in the future, you're going to wish you did have assets that pay you. And welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream, where members only can be in the chat room tonight. Everybody can watch. And oh, we have a special announcement. Laramar, oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, Laramar once again, but it's not about the resort itself. It's about no qualifying, no credit check, no barriers to entry, and you can get a unit there that's going to have city, boardwalk, and can you believe ocean views? And welcome again. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, I want to thank you so much for being here. But please make sure you share the videos so other people know what they can do. Nobody's stopping them. They just need disposable income, that extra little money they're making. They could put it towards earning 10%, 12%, 15%. What about 20% annually? That would be awesome. Now, let's get into it, shall we? The first announcement that I want to make is very, very simple. We're talking about Laramar City and Resort, which if you're not a new person and you already know what I'm talking about, that's fine. But if you are new here and you're watching for the first time, Laramar City and Resort is in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. It sits high on a ridge. It has five star hotels that will be there. It has its own levels of a beach club over a cliff beach clubs as in man-made beaches pools cabanas somewhat of a water park because they're putting in some sort of wave pools it's going to be 1.8 miles long now it's going to take a few years but the first two years which comes in 2025 at the end of 2025 when they're going to have 0.6 of the 1.8 done now that means you'll see here in a second but i'm not going to delve into it you're going to have to search the channel for laramar city and resort but i just want to show people this tonight because tower one and tower two are in the first phase the reason i'm showing this picture right here is because the unit that may become available it's not for sure yet but this is why you can do your research now. If the unit becomes available, it will have a view similar to this because the only way you can have a view similar to this is being on the 12th, probably like the 11th, 12th, 13th, or 14th floor. The reason I say this is because you're going to be, that's probably about 10 floors higher than the hotels. Hotels are going to be four, four or five stories high. So you have to be on the 14, 13, 12th, 11th floor in order to get this type of a view. Because then you would be, again, you'd be roughly about 100 feet higher than the top of the roof, which would be pretty awesome. This is the type of unit that can become available. This is a two bedroom, two bath. And the price, if it does become available, is $160,000 for this two-bedroom unit. And it has a, this 
balcony areas combined are 300 square feet. So very nice sizes off the master balcony, off of the living room balcony, off the second bedroom balcony. So that's very nice. Now, you guys are the first to know about it. Well, second to know about it because everybody that signed up for the newsletter, they're the first to know about it. In the next 24 hours, you're going to know. So stay tuned here. If the unit becomes available, you're going to need to put down 1%, I mean, $1,000 to reserve. And then in 30 to 45 days, you're expected to throw in your 10% down payment. And then you're going to be paying 30 or 40% for the next two years. That gives you an idea of what you're going to have to deal with. No credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry, but you lock yourself in. And just so everybody knows, October 1st, all prices go up 2.5%. This will not last till October 1st once somebody figures out that they are going to have potentially horizon views, which includes ocean views from their unit. Now, the living room is going to have views. Clearly, this has a balcony area here that has a glass. So that means from laying down in your room through the glass, you can see out there the boardwalk is this area here. And if you don't know, you're about to find out something. What I'm clicking on or showing right here on the right-hand side is one of the man-made pools or man-made beach areas. This is going to be where people can pay. It's going to be part of a beach club. What you can't tell from this picture is you see this white line. Underneath this white line are shops, stores. It could be bars. It could be whatever they want to put down there. They're leasing the space. So you're going to have boardwalk type atmosphere on top next to this white area is owners only beach clubs on this next level. That's right. Owners can use go to their own beach pool, their pools and man-made and sitting areas because there's seating areas in here. And the owners can also go down to the beach clubs on the lower level. And guess what? If you don't know, now you will know. Standing on this first level, you can also see the water. You can see downtown Punta Cana. You can see the city area that they're going to be building right here on this level. Never mind on the second level. Never mind on hotel levels. Never mind sitting in your tower. So I just had to give a little preview for that. Let me see who's in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So get ready and hit me up because if you are thinking 160 $160,000. And if you're thinking two bedroom, two bath at Laramar, that's going to have ocean views on the horizon. Oh, yes. Some people may say, Eric, that's not possible. Yes, it's possible. Even though it is going to be like five kilometers, six kilometers away, you still have ocean views, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's see who's in the house tonight. But please, if you can't get in the chat room, there's a reason why. It's because only members on Wednesday night can get in the chat room. Everybody else, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait till Friday or Monday live streams or any other live streams where everybody can get in the chat room. Chat room. And if you like what we're talking about tonight, I would please love you if you subscribe to the channel and click the all notification bell. Let's go. Jawway Jay's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream, where members only with the icon can be in the chat room. And he says his tagline, hello, SSN Nation. Hope everyone is doing well. Received notification and saw the trailer. Thank you so much, Jawway J, an investor, um, a real estate investor, a business person. He's in the house. Victor Marrero is here. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream. He too has the icon next to his name and he brings his tagline. Hello all, let's do this. That's right, that's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. With or without you being in the chat room, we're about to give you some information. So make sure you have your pen, pad and paper ready. We already gave you one. First of all, you know what? I got to talk about something tonight. Here's the first thing that I have to talk about. Because 
I wasn't going to talk about real estate, but I can't help it because there's a lot of people that do not understand the situation. I just want you to understand prime towers. If you're in the front, all the rest of the prime tower buildings are behind. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, they're lined up behind. They are only in tower one. There's only 14 two bedroom horizon ocean view boardwalk units. Tower two, 14, only 14. That's it. So if you own in tower three, four, yes, you can probably see through park, get a peekaboo views of the boardwalk maybe, or the horizon, but directly from your unit sitting in your living room, sitting in your bedroom, sitting in on your balcony, you have views. All right. Whatever you like, you have views. Nobody's in front of you. That right there is significant. Not all 28 units from Tower 1 and 2 are going to be up for rent. You guys have to understand this. The reason why there's not more units, two bedroom units, is because the one bedroom units are in between the two bedroom units. So the one bedroom units is another 14. But one bedroom units are going to probably sleep four. Two bedroom units can sleep up to six. Big difference. I'm just saying. So what if only 40% of people are renting? Well, you guys can start doing the numbers. 10% of 28 is roughly three units times four is 12 units possibly are going to be for rent is my estimation. I don't know for sure. Or it could be less. Some people might be living there. Some people might be renting long term. So there may not even be that many units available up front. So you can start adding Horizon One. They have units. They're going to be more expensive. Then when they do the blue tower that's coming out, that should be for sale in the next five days, that's going to be in phase two. That's not going to be for a whole nother year. December, September, October of 2026. So think about it. You'll have a head start, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll be able to set your mark early. All right. Brian P's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live stream. He too has the icon next to his name. And he brings his tagline. Hello, Eric. I hope all is well with you. Hello. Yes, it is. SSN family. Let's get money. That's what we do here. Let's get money. In fact, I talked about Larry Mar. I'm going to give you some money, ladies and gentlemen. I suggest you go check out ORC immediately. That is a stock symbol. That is a dividend fund. Everybody here already knows about it. But how many people know that you can get 20% return right now? Whatever money you put in, oh, how about a little over 20%? How about 20.3, 20.5%? You do have to do your own due diligence. We're just leading you to the water, but you got to actually study and see if this works with your investing strategy because it could be high risk if the Federal Reserve sometime wakes up soon and does a uh, rate increase. You know, things could get a little wacky for them. But that's why you have to pay attention. 20%, ladies and gentlemen, it's there again. Who thought it would ever be back at 20%? I damn sure didn't because I didn't think they were going to, their their cost or their stock was going to go down. All right. I'm going to give you one more that's not even on the radar, which, well, if you were here around last year, it would be on the radar. It's another real estate investment trust. I know, I know you guys are going to go, Eric, don't tell me about ARR. You've already told me about that one before. Eric, don't tell me about NLY. You've already told us about that. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I just gave you two more that's over 10%. But how about REFI, R-E-F-I? That's right. That's one we talked about about a year ago. So I'm bringing it back because it's over 10%. It's over 12%. Do you want to get more than that return on your money? You don't have to do anything other than you do have to monitor those stocks. So keep that in mind. So that's how we're doing, Brian P. Let's get some money. That's what we do. Like Victor Marrero says, let's do this. We do this, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right. Victor Marrero says 6th of October. Yes. Elton John concert. I know at Cap Cana, cheapest general admission price is 829 USD. Exactly. The most expensive one, 2400 USD. This is major leagues. These mega concerts should be music to our ears. Oh, here's what's music to my ears. The venue is in Cap Cana. This is why, again, Laramar, if you can hear me, this is why you should have had the 10,000 seat arena or convention center or auditorium or whatever you want to call it. Because this venue only has 2,500 seats. And this is the price I for one, I'm kind of shocked at these prices. I am really surprised, even though it's only 2,400 seats. John thing this up too, because this is very, very major. And it's music to my ears, because if you can fill up 2,500 at these prices, Jesus, then what would have happened if you would have had a bigger venue, lower prices, meaning what if prices were half price for the same type of seating but yet you, you had four times the seat capacity. The promoters would have been like, hell yeah, we'll take that money. In fact, we'll take a third of the price because then we can fill it up. And that's a superstar that would have been rightfully so right come on guys if you can hear me don't let atlantida just build theirs build yours too all right here we go uh i'm gonna pull this up because I, i'm glad he brought this up because this is business ladies and gentlemen see this is something again we get we talk business here if you're new here, this is Stop Struggling Now. You have, right now, I'm thinking about this myself. I think about a lot of things. They, what about a promoter in the DR? Is there really promoters? They have these concerts like Elton John out of the, no, out of the blue, right? But what about other venues around the island? You have enough places now, 5,000, okay, 2,000, 2,500, okay. But that you, you can't charge these ticket prices all over the island. This is in Cap Cana, what they're doing. So I'm thinking if you had these big venues around the island, now he could go not only stop here, he might be stopping somewhere else on the island. I'm sure there's another 2,500 square feet, but there's a problem. 2,500 person, there's a problem. Who's going to pay these ticket prices if you're not in Cap Cana? If you're not in Caso de Campo, if you're not at La Romana, he's not playing there. I'm just saying you have to be in Santo Domingo at a big city, right? Santiago. You're going to have to be somewhere where people can where you can get 2000, 2500 people to pay these prices. Now, I have to admit, I'm going to be pretty shocked if it was sold out. I, I, I'm going to tell it like it is. I mean, Elton John's a bad boy. But all I'm going to say is I'd be shocked. I, I, I mean. I, I can't believe people would pay this. And then again, I haven't had to pay for tickets for a very long time. So I don't know. Maybe this is what the cost is these days, right? That's maybe what it is for superstars when you have a small venue. Let's go look this up, though. I Googled it. I want to show everybody right here. It's El Dorado Park Amphitheater at Cap Cana. Here it is. It's in Dominican today. And I think it only holds... 2,500 people, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-oh, it's not even here. That's interesting. So let's see. Uh, we'll go somewhere else. We'll go Fox. I'm trying to find. Okay. You know what? We'll do it. At, oops, simply Dominican. Okay. If I can't figure it out here, but he's coming. He's coming. Let's see if they actually show how many it's. If I can't figure it out, we'll just go El Dorado Park. Spectacle. I've never been to El Dorado Park, so next time I go, I'm going to have to go check this out, see uh, see what it looks like. 
But this is awesome. Here it is. Hey, here it is. 21, 2200 front stage, front stage. And they're going to have a ticket fee, no doubt. Uh, so that's where we get 2400 Special guest, 1870 This is expensive right here. Although I, I don't have to pay for tickets. So I'm just saying I don't know how much tickets are supposed to cost. Maybe this is the going rate these days. I don't know how much is Beyonce tickets, right? I don't know. But let's go see here what this uh, El Dorado Park is. El Dorado Park. Cop kind of. Let's go look. This could be a business opportunity for people, especially if you're in the entertainment field. All right, here's El Dorado, El Dorado Water Park. Didn't even know there was this El Dorado Water Park here. Let's go see what's happening. Here's the amphitheater. Let's go look at this. They say it only holds 2,500 people. This is a, a travesty, quite frankly. All right, let's go. Uh, huh. All right, uh, I can't really tell. Entertainment. And it's English villas. Oh, wait, no, they have villas there. There's a bar here. All right, here we go. Uh, convenience or amphitheater. They don't even talk about their amphitheater. This is crazy. Let's see here. Uh, anybody know? I think it's 2,500 people can stay or be in this venue. They don't even talk about it. 20,000 meter. Our amphitheater, spacious parking area covering. Oh, 20,000 square meters is for parking. Okay, that's that's not a lot. Adjacent to the amphitheater, stylish indoor bar with numerous restrooms. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, this place definitely can't be bigger than 2,500 because a regular stadium would not be able to have one of these little spots for people to hang out and drink and get drinks. Uh, luxury exclusive VIP villas, six luxurious VIP villas, each equipped. Okay. How cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a picture. Didn't even realize it. Yes. It's a, okay. Yeah. Very small, very small. This is what maybe Larimar was talking about. They were going to make some sort of small venue and I don't even think it was going to be this big. But it could have been. But 2,500 seating like this. Okay, it's cool. Waterfalls on the backside. Is that legitimate? That's cool. Got to give them credit for that, if that actually is a thing. Uh, let's see. I can't, I can't get along here. You guys let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think. So there we are. Wow. Crazy. So that's their amphitheater holds, like I say, I, as far as I know, it holds 2,500 people. You'll notice several things that are missing from this venue because, look, where are people going to go? I mean, seriously, everybody's going to walk out if they have to use a restroom or wants to get something to drink. They got to go to this other area. You can't even be in the venue. Can't even see the venue. That's kind of crazy. All right. Well, there we go. Thank you for mentioning this, Victor Marrero. And that is the salsa dance. It still goes down, ladies and gentlemen, because anybody who's making investments in Dominican Republic, you want superstars to come to the island. Even if it is a small venue, who cares? Because all the rest of the venues can hold this. The venue at Hard Rock can hold it. The venue at La Ramon, every venue can hold 2,500. There's only even a few venues that are 5,000, but they have 5,000 venues all over the island. So he could go to another location if somebody was able to book him and get these ticket prices. I'm still skeptical about the ticket prices. George is, Charles is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream. He too has the icon next to his name. And not only is he a emerging millionaire, he's also the CEO of his life, just like Victor Morrell, just like Brian P., just like Jaway J. They are the CEOs of their life. And why do I say that? Because they are investing in their businesses. They're investing in real estate and not just one real estate. And I have news for you. Shh. 
A house is not an, an asset because you have to work for it. So we twist it around, ladies and gentlemen. You make money from assets. You use those assets, monies, to pay for where you live. Nice and simple. All right, let's keep going. And the emerging millionaires are here. Hello to you, George's Charles. Very nice to see you once again. And Brian P says, hello, Victor Marrero, showing some love in the house like we do. Also, let's see. We have George's Charles again says, I smell money here. That's right. It's money time. And George's Charles, you know it's money time, especially when we know we can have an Horizon view, city view, boardwalk view, condo for 160K in a place that has unlimited amount of amenities. There's so many, I can't even name them. All right, Brian P says, I got the notification and video. Thank you so much. That's two people, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. So let me know if you received a notification and or saw the trailer, please let me know. Brian P, what's up, buddy from Victor Marrero? All right, Brian P, do you have Tesla stock, Victor's? Brian P, I don't know if he has Tesla stock, but we had Tesla stock at 117. That's right, 117. Not 106, which, you know, I was waiting to see if it does go to 100, but so what? And I sold around 265, 264, because I was like, I come on, 200%, double. Why play around? So take the cash and run. Gino Shimiente style, except Gino Shimiente would have been selling at 30%. Never mind 100%. Never mind 120%. Here they said, forget that. <laughs> I'm selling at 30, 35 max. Brian P. Yes, sir. I'm investing weekly on Tesla, NVIDIA. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. TSLY. NVDY. I was thinking it was Tesla. It's, 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 uh, these are like ETFs, APLY, AMZY, all these trade options for Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon. Exactly. Their annual yields are incredible. So you are working on the game plan. You're still going with that options trading. That's what we're talking about. I didn't even realize I just, it was in my head, Tesla, but you're right. Those are the, uh, options. Appreciate that clarification and mentioning that, Brian P. Yes, they are. Exactly. So I'm just giving you guys my thing on the individual stock. Victor Marrero, my wife and I paid $8.50 to see Madonna about eight years ago. And my, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it was worth every penny. I wouldn't mind paying $900 to see Elton John. You're right. The problem is that we don't go to PC until October 22nd. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Well. Then that means, well, you know, Madonna's big time as well, just like Elton John. So these tickets are going to be outrageous. To me, those are outrageous. But I don't know. Like I said, I've been very, very fortunate. Uh, these places you guys see me, I'm at that I have in this SSN lifestyle. I uh, pretty much go in, do get my stuff. I don't even know how much stuff costs um, unless I looked it up. So I wouldn't know how much a concert costs. I'm just going to tell you like it is uh let's see here we have more that el dorado water park at capcana is going to be huge i hear it will have waterfalls all over and must visit when we go there yes uh are you saying it's not built yet or or this is something that's new i didn't realize it was new but then again i never heard of the el dorado water park either but yes if they have them waterfalls and all that that is beautiful that's even better than red rocks uh in uh arizona if you guys haven't seen red rock that is it's beautiful for being an amphitheater on rocks it's crazily beautiful right um so if they make waterfalls and make it look cool that would be awesome which it looks like that's what if those are renderings that's what they're gonna do that's beautiful but this is in capcana which is by in puna cana dominican republic is capcana another place where people upscale luxury that's where they live inside capcana gated community it's over thirty-three thousand square kilometers or something it's huge a space that's currently jungle with plenty of land left to build but all the land that's left is going to cost people an arm and a leg 
it already costs an arm and a leg to live there. They're already at $3,500, $4,000 per square feet or square meter, sorry, 3,000 to 4,000 per square meter. That translates to 300, 400 per square feet. So if you want a 4,000 square foot house, it's probably going to cost you 1.6 million to build it. Just to give you an idea, right? At the at the right place, right location. So now is the time to get in because a year from now, you're going to wish you were paying 4,000 a square meter or 3,500 or 3,000 a square meter for anything, whether it's a condo or a villa in Capcana. So once again, we're just giving you heads up. If you want to be wealthy, this is the type of moves you have to make when it's good. Why? Interest rates are high. By you getting something when interest rates are high means there's going to be less demand. Think about it. And that also means things could drop out of the sky, such as this ocean view tower one condo that's a two bedroom and line up ladies and gentlemen because i'm going to tell you on friday night if it's actually available you guys want whoever wants to get it you better jump on it 10 percent down 30 percent during construction 60 percent on delivery and in three weeks price is going to go up 2.5 percent as well and then Three months after that, another 2.5%. And every three months thereafter, the price goes up 2.5%. You already have to pay 170 for a two-bedroom in Blue Towers that's coming out. Blue Breeze Towers is coming out. Sometime in the next six, seven days, we should have pricing. It's going to be 170 to 195. I'm just saying it's going to be up front too. And it comes out in 2026. So you might want to be jumping on any one of those if you guys are thinking about Laramar. So I'm just saying, be ready. Don't sit back. Now, what else are we going to get into? Well, I mentioned REFI at the beginning because I said, you know what? We're going to go on a rewind. Rewind. Chicago Atlantic Real Estate Finance. 12.4%. Not bad, but if you want to go with the old standbys, I have to give you guys the real. JP Morgan and Jeppy. So this is REFI for everybody on podcast. But JP Morgan, let's see where we're at. We should be around 10%, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh here we go again. 55. So we're going to be about 10.2. It's going to be about 10.2%, somewhere in that range. For J-E-P-I, Jeppy. That's J.P. Morgan. Do you feel safe with Chase J.P. Morgan Group? Then there's your one that's safe and sound is what I'll call it, right? Otherwise, you can start looking at high risk, high rewards. When we look at this, it's going down. And by the price of the stock going down there at now 20.74 ORC. How awesome is that? Not bad, right? Let me know what you guys think about this. Not bad at all. I'm sitting there in disbelief. It's crazy when you think about it. That is ridiculous rate of return. Then we're going to go over here, PSEC. And now my old standby prospect capital, that's going down as well. This is going back to 2020 prices here. 12% drops another 50 cents. It's going to start being real crazy at that point. 15, 16% return on your money. You'll take it all day, every day. I know you will. All right. That's another one. What else am I going to do? We'll go to uh, ARR. This is dividend stock investing, ladies and gentlemen, not options. Not anything like that. These are all affordable, reasonable, but REITs, 19.67%. But can they keep giving out this type of money? Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. Here's a here's the thing. Is it fool's gold? That's the million-dollar question. This is why you have to do your own due diligence and research to make sure it lines up with your type of investment profile that you're trying to achieve. But my God, 19, 20% on money you put in now, and you could be earning that as long as that REIT is giving you money. That's remarkable. And they don't reduce their uh, dividend. 
Jeez, that would be remarkable. All right, so let me know. What, what do you guys think about that today? That is incredible, in my opinion. All right, now, the old standbys, in case you're new here, AGNC, just so you can see it, 14.88%, which is also respectable, very respectable. And speaking of out in LA Capital, that's NLY, we know about them as well. This You have a myriad of options. There's no reason, 13% here. And N as in Nancy, L as in Larry, Y, that's another option for you. And I'm not going to forget you, Marrero. Don't worry. We're going to talk about MVO Trust, right? We're going to talk about MVO Oil Trust. It's now 17% because oil is dropping, ladies and gentlemen, and their stock price is dropping. But it's MVO Trust. 17% for some oil. My goodness. Which also leads us, there's Marathon over there too. I uh, can't remember their stock symbol though. Can't remember the stock symbol. It's uh that's MasterCard. Uh it's it's uh well, why don't we do it this way? Um Marathon. Let me see if they're giving out any dividends these days. No, oh just a little 1.48 percent, not enough. We have choices, right? Why don't we go to CRX, see what they're doing? No, that's not it. I got the wrong symbol. Uh, see, I can't remember the symbol for Chevron. Um, thought it was CRX. For, no, it's not that either. Doggone it. Can't remember Chevron. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll do it this way. Exxon Mobil, 3%. Then we'll go with Chevron because I can't remember their stock symbol for some reason. CVX. I did put in CVX, so I was right. Or did I say CRX? 3% as well. Still not good enough. We have a lot of other choices on the table. So hopefully that helps out here. you got to have that stock investment options. In case you haven't gotten your free stocks from Robinhood and Webull, then I highly suggest you go down below in the description box. Sign up for Robinhood and Webull. There's apps. You get free stocks when you sign up, except there's a twist with Webull now. They want you to make a deposit. Whether it's one cent, two cents, two dollars, five dollars, a hundred dollars, doesn't matter. That's the only way you're going to be getting your free stocks. So the links are down below. But we have something better than that because a lot of people say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do stocks. I'll just put my money into an ETF. That's what JP Morgan is. That is what the TSLYs, the NVDYs, and all this is about as well. There's also other things you can do by putting it in the NASDAQ or the Dow, those type of ETFs. Or if you have $500 to around 4999 somebody named Wealthfront, they will actually manage your money for you at no cost. Down below in the description box, once again, look for Wealthfront. That's right. So if you only have $500, you can ship it to Wealthfront. They'll manage your money 8%, 9%, 10%, whatever it will be annually. That is what you will receive. All right. So let's go. Let's see here. Hey, Eric, what about yield max APLY? What about? It's nice. I don't see a problem with that at all. And once again, Victor Morell says TSLY, K-L-I-P-O-A-R-K, N as in Nancy, V-D as in David Y, Next one, A-P-L-Y. Next one, U.S. Oil, U-S-O-I. Then I-E-P. All these have yields between 20% up to 67.78%. An average yield of 42.33. It doesn't take much to start getting a nice monthly check. Wow. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm leaving that on the screen. You can write it down. You can write it down. Right. In fact, let me go look at something. Let me go see something. I'm going to go look at this. This is Yield Max right here. Uh, option Income Strategy ETF. So we're talking about APLY. Yeah. Let's go look it up too. This is what they look like, ladies and gentlemen. Yield Max. 
This is the apple. Can't complain. Futures. S&P 500's break ski. Here's what to do. Dow tumbles nearly 200 points today. NASDAQ falls a third straight day. It's Fed rate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fed rate hike fears return. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the reasons why these REITs, the ones I gave you, the RARR, the REFI, the IGNCs, the Orchard Capitals of the world that's giving you high rate of returns because of these fears, their stock prices are going down. Why? You have to understand, REITs sometimes hold uh, loans. When the Federal Reserve increases their interest rates, those loans now cost them potentially thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not tens of millions, because it went up 0.25. If you're holding a billion dollars in loans, which I don't know if they are, but if you're holding that in just a 0.25% interest, interest rate increase, that could be something like 10% of a billion is 100 million. All right. Just so you guys get perspective here. So they could be paying like an extra twenty five million dollars in interest only. Overnight. That twenty five million that they're presently giving out to dividend holders or stockholders, dividend investors and stockholders, they say, well, we, 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 we need that extra twenty five million. So we're going to claw back a little bit. We won't pay as much. That could happen. That's why these prices going down is very interesting because people are thinking feds are going to raise the interest rate, which you guys already know how I feel about it because they skipped the one that they should have raised it. So that means they sh have to in my book, because if we want to start reducing the interest rate in the next December or January time frame, we have to go higher. We don't have a meltdown yet. We need something to break. That means we need the housing market to break. It has to. Otherwise, whoever is not holding real estate after this next little break happens, you are going to be left in the dust and you're going to be missing out on exorbitant amount of wealth. Don't miss it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm promoting. I'm promoting that. Right. Wow. Victor Morrell telling it like it is. Brian P., I know. Great returns. Exactly, Brian P. This is what we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. All of you can do this. It doesn't take rocket science. You just know apps these days. Sign up with the app or sign up with the brokerage. Go online. Sign up with Fidelity or Schwab or whoever you want. Open a brokerage account. It could be Chase for, I, I, I mean, just open a brokerage account. And then you buy stocks or dividends or ETFs something that you feel comfortable with after you've done your homework. And then that way, you know, you have 10, 15% annually coming in on the money you put in now. This isn't, and then you reinvest it. So now your money's working for you. Now, 10 years goes by, five years go by and your money's working for you while you forgot about it. And then you open it up and you're like, oh my God, that little 15% annual return that I did way back when did this much. It does a lot. You'd be shocked in a short period of time because when you get 15 to 20 percent in that range, things start going up dramatically. And so what I'll do for people who are somewhat skeptical of the situation regarding numbers. Why don't we. Oh, hold on a second. I was going to do something first before we get to the Google calculator. Let's see. I wanted to go to. Dow tumbles, Fed rate hike fears return, live update, stocks sold off, continually sluggish start to September, Federal Reserve may not be done hiking interest rates. I don't think so. They're not. They can't. They can't be. The interest rates, okay, are they going to live with the 4, 4.5, 5% their number when they really know it's 10, 12%? Let's get real here. They know what the real number should be and is. They deliver to the public fake numbers. What I mean, okay, they're not fake numbers. They changed the CPI index. So the CPI index of 1979 is not the same CPI index of 2023. They know this. They know the real one. 
they can calculate the real one and they're like oh damn man this is really like 12 percent, 11 percent. but we're going to go with this new cpi thing that we kind of manipulate and we're going to tell them it's 4.5 4.3 5.0 but that's still not two percent for our healthy economy and a capitalist system uh, society we need two percent that's what we need so they can't they're playing around this is what you have to understand they're over here playing around with your life you don't understand your financial life is at stake based on these millionaires making these calls when in fact they get a premium they get premium structure for them nobody here on this live call anybody that's going to watch this if you're not in that elite class you are not walking into any bank and saying hey man you know what I can't afford to pay my uh, mortgage notes. And since I can't, will you let will you extend this for me? Will you give me interest only and redo my loan for me? They're going to look at you like, have you lost your mind? Do you know who you're talking to? But these other guys that hang with the Federal Reserve, they can walk in and say that kind of stuff. That gives them a huge advantage over you. So that's why you have to make sure that you're going to be able to ride their coattails because they are going to turn up the heat when they start reducing the interest rates and property values for all the pain right now. If the property values do what I think they're going to do, double because they are going to bring interest rates down to 3%, 3.5%. People are going to buy homes ridiculously because they're going to say, hey, I can get a million dollar home for $3,500. Whereas right now, a $500,000 home is costing $3,500 a month mortgage. So now you understand why when they bring it down and somebody says, oh, yeah, 35. Remember, 3.5% is 3,500 for every, every million. That's going to be your note, right? That's how simple this goes. So just keep that in mind. That's seriously what's going to happen. That's why you can easily see prices are going to double. It's not even going to be a problem. People are going to be outbidding people, doing all kind of crazy. You're going to find out, but don't get caught, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to make sure none of us get caught here. Hold some real estate somewhere. Because after this next blow up, there's no return. Because people do not make that much money. Only a select few people actually really make money. And an employer and a W-2 worker. You are not getting a double cost raise. You are not getting a 100% raise. In the next 10 years, you won't be getting a 100% raise. And you're going to pay for a house that got a 100% increase in price? I don't think so. I'm just warning you now. You guys know how I feel about this. This is why my original deal last year, buy a home in 2023. Well, the Federal Reserve, they're not cooperating. They should have raised interest rates that one month. They should have raised it last month. They should be raising it this month. We got to break this down. And then from that that point on, for the rest of our lives, I'm sorry, kids, grandkids, millennials. I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to afford $1.5, $2 million homes. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. You're not going to be able to be 25 years old generally and own a $1.5 million pad. Let's get real. You're not going to be making damn near 15 to 20 Gs a month without other credit that's that's almost nearly going to be impossible all right so just keep that in mind now dow jones unretired shares his secrets to live a happy life all right that's all i wanted to do dad we can easily see what's happening citadel strong august has broader market tumbled yeah because there's more trades coming in citadel gets to front run you all right i won't even get into this this just annoys me when i see these companies doing this they get to front run you and they know what your what your trades are beforehand. They're getting fed to them so they can front. Run. OK, I won't even get into that. Let's get into some other stuff. Wealth creation, ladies and gentlemen. Once you know the system, you can actually take advantage. Victor Morales studied. He said, you know what? I love this options trading. It's doing great so far. I guess he's in week two or three or four. He's probably doing very well because look at these yields. These yields right here that he's talking about is 20%. And by the way, I forgot about our old favorite. They 
drop their dividends because their stock got smashed. But it's at 19.9%, even with their stock price at $20, even after they cut their stock dividend in half. That is remarkable. I get excited when I see things like this. This is remarkable. Giving the people their money back. Remarkable. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Remarkable. You can see the dividends, IEP. Yes, they had to adjust it because, what, hold on a second. Let me double check just to make sure. Yes, they had to adjust it because even when it was $24, it was 30%, but then they had to cut their dividend. It was over 30, but they cut their dividend. And so since it did drop, that makes perfectly good sense. It dropped $4. So it should probably be around 19.9. But if you're going to invest in IEP, you're going to have to make sure you know what they're paying in their dividends right now. I'm leaving that up to you. How simple is that? You got to get, you have to understand in case something happens to me, you guys have to understand how to go do your own research. Make sure you understand. Now let's get into something else. I have it sitting here on the board, which I completely forgot about. We're talking about crypto as well. We have to get into something, debt box node, things like that. We have to talk about that. Here we go. We have something here. We have uh, Brian P, CRF, and CLM. I don't know about any of those symbols. I'm going to pull it up, but I, I don't know. Cornerstone, total return fund. I don't know anything about it, but Brian P does 17%, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. 17%. We have to do research on this, don't we? Thank you for the gym, Brian P. Now you guys know why you need that pen, pad, and paper because you never know when gyms are going to be dropped. Holy smokes. I'm not familiar with Cornerstone at all. The fund shares common stock traded Cornerstone. Let's see who they're a tiny build Morningstar. Oh, this is not even. Uh, let's see. Are they going to give me some info? Okay, headquarters, Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's a fund of some sort. Okay, NASDAQ, CRF, 2023, 11.73 cents. Okay, 11 cents per share. Is that every month? Yes, it looks like, wait, hold on. Yes, every month. So that means it's a uh, $1.40 or somewhere around there, right? Pretty close, a dollar, well, a dollar twenty maybe. Is that about right? One dollar and twenty divided by eight. Does that get us seventeen percent? Um, something like that. One, three, seven, seven. Yeah, that's about right. Dollar, it's around dollar thirty, dollar forty, somewhere in there. So that would make it about right. $8.27. Okay, we got to find out what they do. What do they invest in? It says value fund, which actually makes that even a little more interesting. You have to understand value fund indicates the value they're investing in value stocks or companies. And then therefore, when things go good or better, interest rates come down, then that means the value of their stock should go up, which means you're going to lose your 17.02% for any future investments once their stock starts rising because it'll start going down because it's relative to the stock price. But getting in at 17% right now, hey, you got another option, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Brian P. mentioning Cornerstone, which I didn't even know about, CLM. Let's go look. This is what I love. We have people contributing, helping people out here. This is what we do. This is what they do. See, ladies and gentlemen, oh, 17.48%. Holy smokes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. CLM is still Cornerstone? Oh, Cornerstone Strategic Value Fund. The other one was Cornerstone Total Return Fund. Interesting. We got to find out what they're buying. We have to find out what they're buying, right? This is incredible. 17%, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to do your homework. I can't even give you any information on this company. Uh, we got a lot to talk about tonight. So you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Go look them up. 
go see what they're talking about here. I will do this. I will at least do this. Let's go to Cornerstone on CNBC. Let's see what these guys say. Closed in, diversified management investment coming to funds, objectives, see long-term capital appreciation to investment, United States and non-fund invest in various sectors, information, technology, healthcare, consumer, financials, communicate. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, healthcare, financials, communications, those are cornerstones and information technology, depending on what it is, they are in. It's like the IEP. It's like the ICON fund, except they don't have the automotive in here. This is very, very good. I like that, except this discretionary thing that may consumer discretionary that can help you. But that's a very nice little mix of funds. So we got to give them some credit, right? Give them some some credit that is awesome and that stock symbol again is clm thank you brian beautiful i can't say enough how beautiful that is i get excited about this type of stuff when somebody gives us some info like this 17 percent or more that's beautiful all right looks like i lost something on my screen so hopefully i'm still up Hopefully you guys can still see me because I don't see anything on my screen. All right, Brian P., thank you so much for that information. And everybody else, I'm pretty sure thanks you. And oh, by the way, when we start talking about business, we have to do business, ladies and gentlemen. That means you have to talk breachfrontjava.com. Professor Auntie Val and family started their own coffee business. Go show some love. Go check it out. There's like 12 different blends of coffee. She has the Keurig. They're premium blend coffees. From around the world, the beans are from around the world. Whole beans, drip ground, fine ground, cure reg, and end of the year, tea. Show some love. And what I mean by that is show some love using promo code SSN Lifestyle. Why? Because after your first order and every order thereafter, always put in SSN Lifestyle in the promo code. After your first order, you get 10% off for life for any returning orders think about it first order order one bag ssn lifestyle so then next order get two or three bags ssn lifestyle because your second order you get 10 percent off your first order you don't get anything off unless you already knew about it in june and you ordered in june or the before July 3rd, then you're already in the system and you already get 10% off, but you always put in SSN Lifestyle, just so you know. All right, let's go. Eric, getting me excited. George's Charles, you should be excited. In fact, George's Charles, you're a special case. Everybody in Puna Cana, Dominican Republic, y'all are already special. Anybody who invests in the DR right now, before the next second phases and third phases of projects come out, you're still gonna love life. But after that, who knows what's going to happen? So everybody's going to win. But how much you're going to win, we don't know. But I do know this. We have situations where people are able to buy property at, let's call it $100 a square foot, $115 a square foot, $150 a square foot, $200 per square foot. All right. In a place that has in other locations already 
that are charging 4,000 or 400 per square foot, 300 per square foot. Things are rising. All right. So there's a range. Right now, you're around 100 per square foot to about 170 to and on up. But in two years, do you really think they're going to be in the hundreds? Doubtful. You think they're going to be in the 200s? Doubtful. We've already seen what's happening and it's starting to escalate higher and higher. So he should be excited, especially all those that are holding three, four, five pieces of property and they spent less than six or 700,000 for it and they got them at around $100 per square foot. They're going to be doing the salsa dance when it's $300, $3,000 per square meter. And when it hits 4,000 per square meter, that means they're going to be holding like $2 million worth of property. That's what we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep that kind of thing in mind. That's why he's excited. Plus the stock market is 17%. Did a quick math on TSLY's annual yield. The 10K will get you about 683 Tesla shares at 83 cents a share. That's $566 per month. More than a lot will get from SSA. Think about compound interest. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There you have it. Unfortunately, Victor Marrero is, is talking uh, foreign language to me. I think TSLY, because he says a 10K will get you about 683 TSLY share. Okay, that's what he means. Because I keep thinking Tesla. He's thinking, because I know Tesla doesn't give dividends. So I was trying to figure out how he's correlating. Now I understand. He's talking about TSLY, 83 cents per share. 566 per month. Okay. 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 Now you know what that means. We're going to have to go look at something real quick. Let's go look. TSLY stock. Let's see what he's talking about here. Just so everybody understands, we're talking about $14.66. So if, if I have this correct, let's just bring this up on the screen. Let's bring this up on the screen. All right, because this is what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people feel kind of funny when they're doing stock markets and, and feeling like, hey, I, I wasn't taught this. There's nothing to be taught. All you have to do is do. We're giving you the information. There's nothing more to think about here, right? So let's go to a Google calculator. Google calculator. Uh, all right, here's a Google calculator calculator here's what we're talking about just so everybody understands all right so let's see here uh where, where are we at here 600 um 10, 000 at whatever that price is what's the price of tsoy ah i dropped it hold on a second tsoy wasn't it 14 dollars and something it was uh 14 dollars 66 cents all right here we go 10,000. Whoa, 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 hold on a second, gentlemen. 10,000 divided by 14.66. I believe that's what he's talking about. I'm pretty sure he's talking about 682. Okay. And then he times that. Oh, yes, that's significant. 83 cents. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. That's $566. Now, the, the, there's a question. Is this 83 cents is annually? Right? Because I'm pretty sure they're not giving out $10 a share, right? Let me see how much is there. Yeah, there, it's not $10 for dividend. So 566. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's see. What's their, uh, what's their return on TSLY? It all depends on what their return is. So is it because I believe he said monthly. Let's see. He says 566 monthly. More than a lot we'll get from think about compounding. That's what I'm thinking about because I'm thinking about the compounding part. Because and don't even say it's monthly because if you're doing 10 and you get five, no, 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 that would be half. That'd be damn near 50%. So it has to be, I think it has to be. I'm not familiar with TSLY. I'm going to have to go look this up, man. See, this is what Victor Marrero does. He makes me think about it. Brian P. started this all off. Let's go look this up. Let's go see what we got here. 
All right, dividend yield six. Oh, it does say 69. What the frick? Victor Marrero, he's got it right, it appears. It says 69%. Holy smokes. Wow. Talk about the fines of the century. Seriously? That's at 69%. Come on, I'm anxiously waiting this. Trending ETFs. Oh, oh, funny thing they said, Jeppy. Of course it's trending. What do you expect? It's always going to be trending. That's like one of the safest things. Here we go. I'll be damned. It is. It is. 83 cents. Oh, my. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The deal of the century. $9 and it is $10. Holy smokes. There you go. The deals of the century have just now been told Brian P started this off, started this off and now Victor Morrell come you have to stay on top of these because sometimes they reduce the dividends but in this case this is outstanding outstanding holy smokes now now I see why uh, we have the dance. Somebody should be raising the roof out here. This is incredible. Incredible. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am really, really, really shocked by this. I didn't know nothing about TSLY, CLF, CLM. We learn something new every day. This is where the big boys play. What do you think these guys are doing that's holding your money? They're putting money in these and then telling you, oh, all we earned was... 11%. Aren't you happy? And you're happy, of course, because you're looking around like, oh, yeah, everybody's ETF earns 11, 12, 8%, 6% or less. You're thinking, oh, I'm not happy. 11, 12%. We're doing great. Meanwhile, they're collecting 35, 40, 50%. Unbelievable. My, my goodness. Talk about unbelievable. Quick math is right. Victor Marrero laying down some very serious information. Hey, Victor, I have 1,017 shares in TSLY, Brian P. Well, then, Brian P., what the hell? Seriously? Wow. That's 1,000 times 83. There you go. There you go. And then one month, they were given a dollar per dividend, per share dividend. That's crazy. That's real, real crazy. Real lovely. We're loving life on this $14.66. And that is the TSLY, everybody. That's T is in Tom, S is in Sam, L is in Larry, Y. I don't believe it. It's like $9.96 right now, annual return. That's more than JP Morgan. And a higher return rate than JP Morgan. What the frick? Man, ladies and gentlemen, we've been sleeping this whole time on this, but hey, now we get to wake up courtesy of Brian P. Victor Marrero spelling it out for us. Holy Toledo. Wow. I am shocked. Wait, how are you guys doing a, a TSLY? Sounds interesting. It's a stock. You can buy it, apparently. Yeah, you should be able to buy it, right? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's on New York Stock Exchange. TSLY. Hold on, let me go. Let's go look this up. Let's go look, look. I'm going to Robin Hood. It's simple enough. I'm automatically in pretty fast. I'm just going to go look this up right now. I'm going to go over to Robin Hood. Knowing these guys is probably blocked, right? Let's see what these guys are going to do. What is this? Okay, let me go look it up. Let's see if we can get a TSOY. Can we buy TSOY on? Yes, we can. Yes, you can buy on Robinhood. That means you can buy everywhere. They call, They don't even give you a dividend yield. They have a 1%. This is interesting. And up pops NVDY, APLY, and JEPI for recommendations. How funny is that? O-A-R-K also, J-E-P-Q, Q-Y-L-D for all y'all NASDAQ lovers. And SCHD for Victor Marrero's lover. 
A-M-Z-Y. They're all lined up under the recommendations tab. This is very, very interesting. I got to go find out what's going on because I'm not in none of those. And we're going to have to do because that is looking extremely nice. All right. There's the beachfront Java, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you go over there and get that. Show some love for our own Professor Auntie Val, Brian P. Oh, my God. Congratulations. That's about 15K. You keep building that and let the compound and interest power do the rest. That's right. That's money while you sleep. So happy for you. Exactly. Exactly. That is incredible. Yes. And he could keep building it. Very well said. Or he can take out half of it and think about buying some other assets using other people's. Well, actually, we actually may not want to take it out for a year. I'm just saying, otherwise we got to pay like 20, 25%. So 15%, we can deal with that a little better, right? Even though it's 10% more, but 10% more substantial in this case, right? So very nice. Congratulations is in order for Brian P. Well done. That's what he was talking about like a month ago when he said, should I use all this money for this or go buy this? And it was up to him. Well, at this point, if you have these type of returns, well, clearly, why put your money into real estate, even though I know real estate is nice, you know, it's cool. But if you're getting freaking 30, 40, 50 percent, let's just put it this way. You can buy something. I don't even know how they're doing this. Buy something for $14 and get back $9. I'm just like, I, I, I don't know what to say. This is crazy. I got to do some research on this because I can't believe they would do this. This is outstanding. Uh, TSLY is only $14.66, so I'm still baffled. I got to go find out because this doesn't show up on the dividends under Robinhood. So that means it's something else. And they're saying cash when they're talking about it. So we need to know about a little bit more about this. George's Charles, my options trading will strategy is QQQ and SPY. However, I invest in TSLY ETF weekly, but this is dividend investing, true passive income. Exactly, Victor Morrell. Exactly. Man, imagine that 401k that we were talking about a week ago and you have it locked in in your 401k and it's tax deferred or you've already prepaid the tax, Roth IRA or something. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So when Victor, for instance, he's saying it right here. He puts in, what did he say? He said he puts in weekly, right? You had your four. So imagine Victor Morrell knows where I'm going with this already. And a lot of you may, might already 401k, but I go down and go to uh, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, have my brokerage account there, have my solo, my company 401k there. And now we can put our investment through there as an owner or employee of the business now that money gets to be locked into my 401k investing which i get to have a tax write-off my business gets a write-off i get to match my company or match my employees if i give 20 percent, which is the max i'm going to tell people to match just to be good with the irs you know when the irs is looking for you all the time you know you got to be good you don't want to be in bad graces with the irs that hard-earned money you're making it can be taken away just off of a SEC investigation. And they're like, ah, yeah, you messed up. We need $100,000. And you're like, damn, I made all this money. What do you mean? So make sure you don't do anything crazy. Just do up to 20% match. Call it a day. But all I'm saying is you're there, ladies and gentlemen. And now you have a write-off and you have savings. This is how the big boys do it. Victor Morrell, thank you so much for this. Victor Morrell bringing the big boy stuff in tonight. Brian P bringing the big boy stuff in tonight. That's what we do here. When George's Charles says he smells money, we have people giving us this valuable information tonight. They've mentioned it before, but again, we didn't realize that this was giving these type of returns. This is crazy. This is outstanding. I'm very happy. The yield for TSLY is 67% annually. So you have to use compound interest calculator. Yes, I know. I didn't use compound interest calculator. But he's exactly right. Because if, in other words, you bought 10000 like he said, and it's $566 that month. Now you're also going to be able to buy out of the 566 And if the share was $14.66, 
you can automatically see that's going to be what like another 300 shares or something yeah it's nearly about that right so maybe even more 340 so those 340 that you're buying again now that gives you another 340 another uh, let's just call it well let's say next month they gave you a dollar so that'd be easy so now instead of 566 it's like 800 66 and now you're not taking out the cash you're just compounding it but you got thirteen hundred dollars in two months that would be sweet as hell right on a 10k investment that's pretty good this is outstanding 67 percent let's say divided by 12 is five five point five so yeah, that's about 11%. So that's exactly about right. You should have like 13%, 14% in your account, right? So that 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 makes sense. The numbers, the math is math and ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here tonight because if you're not writing these down, you need to. Again, let me let me go back up. People might have just joined us. Let me show you this right here. We just checked it out. It's true. You can do your own work. This is true. You can go look it up. This is what the big boys are putting their money into. That's why they don't care. So you can imagine if you're a millionaire and you you have a thousand, two thousand, five thousand of these shares. And now it makes perfectly good sense that after a year, you're saying, you know what? I think I'm going to take out my monthly dividend, which could be four thousand dollars. $3,000, $2,000. And that's what you're using to pay for where you live. And it's still earning more money because you're not taking out all of it. You're using part of it, right? So think about that. That's what the big boys do. You want to be the big boys. You want to be the CEO of your life. Well, you just have the keys again. You have more keys that you can take off your keychain and utilize it. But you have to have that passive income coming in. You got to have money coming in. You have to have all kinds. Here we go. And then he was saying he has, I have 1,017 shares. That's incredible. And next month, he's going to have more because he's reinvesting, I'm sure. He's going to have a lot more. Or maybe he's taking some money out. Who knows? How awesome is that? Okay. Well, we have more, ladies and gentlemen. We have more. I knew this conversation was coming. Think about it. T-S-L-Y, N-V-D, A-P-L-Y, A-M-Z-Y aren't going anywhere. This is Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon. If these go to zero, we need to shut the country down. Exactly. He's exactly right. And his SCHD is in the mix. I know. It's a must in your portfolio. I knew he's going to say this. This is a balance of dividends and appreciation. I love that. They call it the king of the jungle. Just add T-S-L-Y, N-V-D-Y, A-P-L-Y, A-M-Z-Y. And watch the power of compounding interest. Victor Morrell laying it down tonight along with Brian P. Exactly. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm going to keep investing. Exactly. Exactly. Let it roll. Let it ride. You got in at the right prices. This is like the best news I've heard all week. Because this rate of return is you can't get it anywhere else. You're not going to get it from a job. You're not going to get it from saving. You have to invest. You have to put your money into these type of funds and get this type of return. But it is a risk, of course. I agree with him. I don't know how they're generating this type of return, but however they're doing it, it's remarkable. They have a track record. I, I find this incredible. I learn something new every day. How in, I was looking at 20% and 17% and all happy. And here all of a sudden you're like, wait, Eric, we have 60%, 40%. Jesus, woo, ladies and gentlemen, even a person that has a little, start with 100, 200 every month. Wow, man, I got to call a few people. I got to call a few people who do investing every week out of their paycheck, and they don't even know nothing about this. This is crazy. All right, there we go. Well, thanks a lot, everybody, for that. Now, let's get into something tonight, because we are in the debt box node everybody right here is what we had a month or no this is the debt box receiver i have it on the wrong page but anyhow if you were in the debt box there's a debt box receiver 
this is receivership because they're trying to get people their money back. I'm going to put this in the chat room. So if you see this on replay, you might not be able to get it. I don't know. They're not doing the live replay for some reason for our live streams. But nonetheless, everybody who's watching it live, you can hit that. If you bought a debt box node or license, you want to try and get some return or some money back, then you got to send this into the receiver, a form. So here it is. July 28th, they set this up. It's, uh, you know, the SEC versus digital licensing, which is debt box. They have a case number. I uh, don't know what happened, if they're actually released their funds or not, but we'll get into that in a second. Here's the debt box receiver, and here's the form. So I put the page in the chat room that you can go to. This is the form you would fill out. And then you send it over here to the debt box receiver if you ordered a license or a node. All right. You can call them as well, I guess. But it's going down which I, I need to copy this because the case number, they had a TRO hearing, temporary restraining order. Um, they had another hearing like a week ago and there's no sign, there's no videos as far as I can tell from debt box or anybody saying, whoo hoo, we got it, you know, removed. So I'm thinking they didn't get it removed. So that's the first thing I want to say. Second thing is this, I am going to show you on the screen in case you don't know about debt box node who are, you could buy the, the license or the nodes through IX global. They're part of this as well. Uh, they're calling them brokers because of course they were selling them to other people in mass quantity. So that would be a broker. And so that's why they're part of the 18 defendants along with the CEO of IX global. But if you want to read about this, I'll put a link in the chat room so you can go check it out. And what we'll also do is, let me see. I was going to do one last thing here. Uh, hold on. Do we have it? Yes, you have that. We have that. Where's debt box? Just so you guys know, we there's no, here's the weirdest part. I was able to log back in. So I don't know what that was about a month or so back. So here's it, it's still mining, which they're alleging. I'm not even going to get into it. They're alleging they're not really mining. Just so you guys can see here, uh, I'm going in the back office so you can see for yourself what it looks like. $71, clearly not going to happen, not good enough. $1,250 spent. The value is only $71. They mined again. It's 18 cents because of the coin price. Of course, when you have an SEC TRO, the, the value of your tokens are going to go down, but it still generated 377 XPLR. Now, we can't sugarcoat. You guys already know I made a, I got a video from the live stream from the lawyer and uh, Troy Dooley. They sat down and had a conversation and the lawyer says exactly this is the number. If you missed that video, look up debt box and you'll see there's a video. It's an hour long where the lawyer Thompson, Ken Thompson's on and he's talking about this is why we would never recommend this setup. He explains and this is what what the SEC is looking at and this is what would happen. And this also means if you're going to fight it, you're going to have to fight it with millions of dollars. And even if you come out on top, that millions of dollars you spend on lawyer fees and whatever else to win is not going to be able to come back to you. So that's the million dollar question. But there's other questions as well. Uh, the SEC are raising uh, regarding the mining as well, which we all know it was computerized because they said that was an EGI, I believe is what they called it. So uh, that's that's a whole nother animal. But I wanted to give you updates on that. Now, the other update. The other ring of fire and jeopardy is cash flow NFT, which is the Boogie Gopher Club. Boogie Gopher. OK, let me start things off. A lot of, you know, we talked about Boogie Gopher Club. I had videos about it. I got in a dust up with I got banned video. And these guys started blaming me, saying, hey, Eric, you know, we lost like one hundred thousand dollars in sales. I was like, good you're not doing anything but i said not only did i say good 
I said, but you're trying to use me as a scapegoat. I said, I'm not going to be the scapegoat. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do because you guys are your own worst enemy because you have videos up that I used to show people what you said. Those videos are still up. You probably need to take those down because people can go back and see what you said in February last year, July last year, November last year. And here it is almost another year going by and what Hakan said and what you guys have been talking about and your timelines have been way, way off or things haven't even happened. So I said, I'm taking down the I got banned. And not only am I taking down the I got banned, I'm taking down even the, all the good videos where I was talking about you as well. Now, these guys are radio silent for over seven days now. I'm not talking about radio silence to me. I'm talking about their Boogie Gopher Club web, uh, YouTube channel. They're not producing videos. Now, I haven't hit up Micah yet because the only thing I'm hitting up Micah with, how about that refund? That's all I'm going to be hitting them up with. All right. So there's lots of other information that's out there. But as far as Boogie Gopher Club, Cash Flow NFT, they're not even dropping any new videos. And because I got banned on the Telegram group and the WhatsApp group, I can't even get into their group. So I'm like, that's how life is. So I'm giving you guys a heads up. We, uh, we don't have any new information from them. So it looks like the crypto markets, like I said, two, three, four months back, whenever it was, I said, we're not talking crypto any longer because every project pretty much has went kaboom, blew up. All right. No sense in dilly dallying in that any longer because we take we took big hits and we could have had our money sitting over somewhere else earning its, re, you know, earning its dividends, earning our returns on the investment instead of taking high risk, high rewards. So Professor Auntie Val is in the house. You guys know who she is because we were talking about Beachfront Java earlier. So she's here. Welcome to the SSN Lifestyle wealthy Wednesday night live stream edition. And she has the icon next to her name. And it's good evening, fam, with the heart, with the strength and the support and with her cup of beachfront Java. She says she got the notification and trailer. Only three people have chimed in on that tonight. So let me know once again, if you received the notification and saw the trailer, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, Professor Auntie Val, thank you so much. We were already telling people about Beachfront Java to use the promo code SSN Lifestyle. Also told them about the fine ground, the drip ground coffee, the premium blend bean coffee, the one pound bag, the three pound bags, the five pound bags, the half pound bags. It's all there. And the Keurig and free shipping. But remember, use that promo code, ladies and gentlemen, lifestyle. SSN lifestyle is the promo code. Your first order, free shipping. But you do not get 10% off unless you place a second order and use that promo code again, SSN lifestyle for life. And then you get 10% off your second order. So make it happen if you want to be a supporter that helps support our entrepreneurs here in the SSN nation. All right, let's go. Anything else you guys want to talk about tonight? Because we're talking about creating wealth. We had a doozy already. The TSLYs, the AMZYs, the NDVYs. We got to love all of that. And APLY, all of it. What was that? 20% to 67% returns annually at this price point, as long as they're giving out dividends? Oh my. Imagine what would happen when the economy is roaring as it's actually, the economy is kind of roaring actually. The problem is the inflation that was increased above what they told people, it was never 5%. It was never 7%. How about 15%? And that's the problem when you lie and then you tell people, hey, we're reducing the inflation, the federal funds rate or increasing the federal funds rate. And it's only, don't worry, it's 5.1% when it's really 15%. And so when it only goes down to 4.3, it's like, oops, we can't get it down. You think it wasn't 5%, it was 15. All you did was go 15 to 10. You still aren't even in range. So once again, Federal Reserve, you guys need to come clean because then, 
people would understand what we're working with here. But we don't have to worry about that in the SSN Nation because everybody just gave those dividend investing stocks on and these ETFs that you can invest in that gives you 20% returns and up, which is higher than any inflation rate. So that keeps you ahead of the fray. So this is beautiful. All right. You guys know it's time for one of these SSN lifestyle videos because I need a drink of water. And so why not throw in a video? It was part of the, I'm not going to play the one. Let's go with this one. How about this one here? Let's go here. All right. Check this out. gentlemen thank you so much for still being here but don't forget to smash that like button and if you like what we're talking about please subscribe to the channel click the all notification bell now where do we go business wise if you are starting your business from home just keep in mind always be safe i always recommend opus virtual office because they answer your phone and your business phone number they give you a commercial office space with a commercial office address they also report to your business credit profile how beautiful is that what more can you ask for right those are for starters they also you have a business phone number a business fax number that they give you it's on 411 down below in the description box, Opus Virtual Office. Speaking of crypto, oh, you got to use promo code as well. It's $99 per month. The promo code, so you don't have the admin fee, is YG as in George 1. YG1, the number one. YG, the number one. That's it. That waives your admin fee. Courtesy of SSN Nation. Now, the next thing, crypto, we just talked about. Sending crypto. No problems, no issues. Putting in some programs, problems and issues. Gala, the guy embezzled money. I mean, this, this crypto thing is just out of control. So they're, they're sucking wind. Now, let's get into a little bit more of this. The reason why I brought this up is because to send and receive crypto, you don't need a long alphanumeric character. You could use unstoppable domains. $20 is a domain. And just domain, meaning stopstrugglingnow.com is a domain. Stopstrugglingnow.crypto can be, guess what? A domain on the internet. And people can send crypto to that domain. I don't have to give an alphanumeric character. I can just say stop struggling now dot crypto and it's sent to that wallet address. How about that? $10, $20. They might even have a promo right now. Dot crypto dot wallet. dot x dot o in the box there's a link to unstoppable domains you never know if it's going to come in handy later but the best part not only do you receive money uh oh let's see here okay want to keep playing around the other part is not only do you receive crypto 
The other part, the domain part, you can park or do a website. And how about never having an annual domain fee? There is no domain fees. So you have that for life after you mint it and you own it because you mint it for free, by the way, on the blockchain. So how about that? So once this thing gets a little bigger, you can have a nice website. Guess who can take it down? That would be nobody. It's on the blockchain. I'm just saying better than being on the ISP.com. Think about ways where you're controlling everything. It's coming to you, bypassing the PayPal's, bypassing the authorized.nets when you have your merchant accounts, bypassing because all of a sudden you exploded with $60,000 worth of orders. And they say, oh, hey, wait, we're going to hold this for six months and a review because we don't know if it was ill-gotten gains, right? Come on. That destroys many a businesses because of that. Businesses start out saying, yeah, we'll probably have three to five to $10,000 per month coming in. And then their business takes off. But yet now they need those funds to order supplies, the materials, just to fulfill all the orders. And you can't do it. And so then that's how things fall apart. So all I'm saying is set yourself up, even if it's no good, unstoppable domains, it's only 20 bucks, 10 bucks in some cases. Others like .x, sometimes 100 bucks, sometimes 80, sometimes 60. But just go over there and look at it because you should have one or more because you never know. .nft is also another one. Not saying, I mean, it's still, you can send money but or crypto, but set yourself up, ladies and gentlemen. You never know what governments are gonna do or what's going to happen in the world because the financial system needs one hell of an overhaul. And one of these days they're going to pull the trigger. You just don't know when it is. The fed now is in effect. No big deal. The ISO 20,020 is in effect. So think about all these options for you down below in the description box. It's all there for you. All right, here we go for crypto. I say, stay with the King and queen BTC and ETH. That's right. Have a bag for both. I also have a nice bag of dog coin, doji coin, doggy coin, in case it turns with Elon Musk initiatives. Everything else have poo poo on me. Exactly. Everything's poo poo. Almost every. And I'm and look, I got to be straight up. The cash flow uh, boogie gopher club in light of what they are doing, which is uh, they have only look. Here's the funny thing. I, I double checked everything. Nobody actually talks about cash flow NFT. I was and another person. All right. So once I'm now no longer talking about it, there's only one other person and even Boogie Gopher Club and themselves. They're not having live streams that are open on their Boogie Gopher Club channel. M uh, Miracle Cash and more. There's no announcements. No, they don't even have their own type social media presence, so to speak. They do, but it's minor. And there's nothing to be talked about and they're not sharing any new information. So therefore what's going on, we don't know. But I do know this, at the July 7th through the 9th, when they had their Miami event and people were there, they told people that in October, mind you, that's only a month away, 45, no, 24 days away, it's gonna be October 1st. They were telling people they were going to be able to borrow against their NFT. That's going to be a neat trick. All right. Very neat trick, in my opinion, because they're saying it's going to who, how are you going to be able to borrow against it when there's no revenues coming in? So I'm like, that's going to be nice. You guys are saying you're signing up with the bank. The bank's going to say they're going to believe the professor. They're going to believe the uh, Ernst and Young, whatever. I haven't seen nothing about that Ernst and Young, but let's just say they believe it that they're worth 700,000 and the UK is worth $3 billion. Let's say they are gonna fund it and you can take out 20 or 30% based on 250 or 260,000 dollars. So you can basically take out and withdraw 37,000 borrow, never have to pay it back. I'm like, that's very interesting because somebody's gonna have to teach me how both of us can own it at the same time. 
In other words, I have to leave it as collateral. I meant it. It's in my wallet. What am I going to do? Send the uh, send the image over to somebody else and say, that's my collateral. But the value that I just sent you is worth way more. Kind of like a pawn shop. Is that what I'm supposed to do? So I'm going to give you a 200 and so-called $50,000 item and get $37,000 back. I said, okay, that sounds interesting, but I'm just going to say this. There's a thousand people that owns a UK NFT just for UK, right? So all I'm going to say is this. Okay, let's get real. Where's my Google calculator? Where's my Google calculator? So I'm going to have a, th um, well, it's more than that. It's 1400, right? 1400 UK. I'm not saying everybody would do this, but if you start doing these numbers where they said you can do 37,000, um, that's $51.9 million. That's if all 50, 1400 did that, which all 1400 would not because there's no reason to borrow against it, right? But all I'm saying is most people would say, okay, you're giving me a free loan and I don't have to pay it back and it's not on my credit. So therefore, a lot of people would say, I'm just going to do it anyhow because I still have the NFT and I still have a loan, but I, it's not a, a payoff loan. So it's very interesting. I don't know how they're going to pull this off because I don't know who's going to underwrite this. I just don't see it. So if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. But we'll get updated next month because it's October and it's coming fast. So we will see. But I agree with you, Victor Morrell here. No more DAOs, no more nothing with crypto. Everything in crypto has turned to almost damn near dust. Even the new, the licenses, the nodes, everything is turning to dust. And the SEC is not helping. All right. So let's keep it real out here all right and miracle cash and more isn't looking like they're doing what they said they were going to do right remember we wanted that insurance for the real estate owner the landlord being able to get insurance where their 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 uh their uh renters could actually come in and then only have to if they qualify with them they're guaranteeing the insurance company guarantee and that was beautiful work right there if that was doable the deal with allegedly Vodafone, that would have changed things. But do we even know if any of this is legitimate? I have no clue because there's nothing coming out other than these stores. And these stores aren't even finished. Like there's three or four stores, but there's not 10 stores. There's not 11 stores. So all I'm saying is I don't really know what's going on, but it's not looking good right now. We'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us somewhere, somehow. All right, Curtis Davis is here. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. He too has the icon next to his name. And he brings his tagline. Hello, SSN family and SSN Academy. It's the no guru zone, ladies and gentlemen. He brings his ABMM, which means always be making money. Always be making money. You have no choice. I'm going to give you an example, but first you're going to have to go show some love at Mr. Financial's YouTube channel. It's known as Chili Davis. He drops information so you can always be making money. And since Mr. Financial came in here, check this out right here. In case you don't know about it, you can help and tell other people about this. Look at this, T-S-L-Y. Let me go back up a little better. Let's go with this right here. Look at this yield right here, Mr. Financial. Look at that yield. Look at this type of discussion. Everybody who missed out on this, look at this. This is legitimate. You can go look it up yourself. T-S-L-Y is giving you 83 cents a share, and in some months they gave even a dollar earlier this year. For one of the months, they give dividends every month. It's nine dollars and like ninety nine dollars and ninety seven cents dividends every. Well, this year, I don't know if it's every year, but it's this year. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And then 
Here's the other mic drop. 20% up to 67.7%. Just go show, show the love. Get your pen pads and papers ready, ladies and gentlemen. This is significant stuff here. You want to bomba? You want to be with the big boys? This is the spot right here. They're giving it to you. In fact, I don't even know any other place. I mean, I'm pretty sure on YouTube there's thousands of channels, right? And if not millions. I'm sure other people have talked about this before uh, because I'm Johnny come lately to it. Victor Marrera and Brian P. Apparently, they've already been investing in these. I'm Johnny come lately. So this is great news. And they've mentioned them before. I remember like a month or two back, Victor Marrera was talking about O-A-R-K, but I thought it was options investing or options trading stuff. I didn't realize it was stocks. I thought it was something you do with your trades and we're buying it in a different way. I didn't realize it was just ETFs. Now they're like, wait, these are ETFs. I can buy them anywhere. Even Robinhood has them. Come on. That is crazy. All right. So go show some love at Chili Davis with two L's. C-H-I-L-L-Y Davis. Smash his like button. And any videos he drops, please show some love there. Subscribe to his channel. He's part of the No Guru Zone. He just helps people out just like we do here. All right. Just saying. Vanessa Comagates in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. She, too, has the icon next to her name. And she's known as Seamless Genius in this YouTube street. And she brings her tagline, hey, boss and SSN fam, I'm late, but checking in. I appreciate the check-in. We're here. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And Seamless Genius is known as Airbnb of malls. That's right. She's done it. That's why she's the Seamless Genius. She figures out a way to get passive income out of thin air. She's done it again. All right. So. Thank you so much for being here and checking in. Very, very nice to see you. But let's see, where else are we going tonight? We've talked a little business, not so much business, but we talked a little real estate. In case you've just showed up and you don't know, we have a situation in Tower One. In case you don't, hold on, let me get back to this. In case you don't know, Tower Two is sold out at Larimar City. If you're not familiar with Larimar City, maybe now I will give you a little background. So let me do a couple of things here first. Let me do it this way. I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just going to mention this. What if you live at a location that you can rent, approved, that Airbnb? What if, first of all, you buy it and in the contract it says the price cannot go up, which is beautiful, right? So if you buy this pre-construction property, which you can right now, no credit check, no qualifying, no barred entry, what if somebody comes to you and says, hey, there's going to be an 18-hole golf course and country club? You say, eh, no big deal. I don't golf. But you say to yourself, hold on a second. I'm going to be renting out my place. Other people might like this 18-hole golf course and country club along with a driving range. I'm thinking yes, right? Now you're thinking, wait a minute, hold on. What else do we have here? Then they say we have a sports complex. That includes basketball, tennis courts, paddleball courts, baseball, soccer. You're like, hmm, I like that. My guests have something to do. Then you tell, and I say, oh, and by the way, there's even a few lakes on the property that you can sit around and they have these little huts types uh, buildings and structures where you can sit inside and relax and bench parks. It's almost like Central Park in New York. Yeah, they have that. But that's not all. That's just the tip of the iceberg. What if I said university out back? What if I said medical services out back? You're still saying, Eric, this doesn't say nothing. But now, what if I said there is going to be a mall. You're saying, all right, I don't have to leave. What if I tell you 
there's going to be restaurant, nightclubs, casino. You're starting to perk up. What if I said there's going to be supermarket mini marts underneath the towers so you don't have to leave the compound? Are you getting it yet? What if I told you there's going to be a boardwalk with beach clubs, restaurants, pubs, bars, and our own little tiki huts that you can swim up to in man-made beaches and wave pools? That's going to be eventually 1.8 miles. And what if I told you there's also going to be a second level where owners have their own level and beach clubs? And as a renter, a guest, a landlord, as an owner, all of you can use the second level of the beach clubs. And you can use the first level that everyone else has to buy into to get into the beach club. So you have two areas. What if that was all possible and somebody told you you had ocean view horizon view, city views, and have views of the boardwalk for $160,000. And it's a two bedroom. We're waiting, ladies and gentlemen, because somebody has an opportunity to buy this. And if they don't buy it, then I'm saying it's going to be available. So you might want to get your 10% down, or shall I say your $1,000 or $2,000 to reserve it, because that's all you need to do to send in to reserve it. 30 to 45 days later, you're going to have to put down the remaining. It's going to be 10% down. So that's 16,000 less your 1,000 or 2,000 you already put down. So it's either going to be 14 or 15,000. And then delivery is going to be in a roughly two years, 24 months. And you're going to be doing 30% down payment over those 24 months. At 0% interest, no credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry. And October 1st, all prices go up 2.5%. It's not much right now, but then in January 1st, it goes up 2.5%. March, January, February, March, April 1st, 2.5%. I'm just saying. So over the next two years, you're going to have another 20, 30% increase in prices. And the blue tower that's coming out is going to be 170 to 195. So uh, the 170 to 195 means previous properties should increase in value anyhow. I'm just saying. So you are going to have an opportunity if the person here, we want an SSN Nation member in Tower 1 because you guys are going to be the first to know about it. That if the person does drop it and doesn't want it, somebody better be thinking about do they want to get involved. Now, here's what I'm going to show you because the floor that you would be on is this one. Let me show you this right here. This is the type of view that you could have. This is just a rendering. This is like awesome. I showed this at the beginning, but here it is. Here's your two bedroom. It's not that big. These are like 792 square feet inside your terraces. You have two of them right now. They're combined. These are 300 square feet total. So I'm thinking this is probably 200 square feet. Over here is probably 100 square feet. That's pretty big. All right. One's off. Uh, and the both bedrooms have a terrace, living room terrace. And you're looking straight ahead, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you could see if you're on the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, or if you have a penthouse on the 15th floor and 16th floor, this is the type of view that you would have. Now, if you're around the sixth floor, or seventh floor, you're not going to have this view because you're going to be skimming above the top of the hotel because the hotels are going to be four or five floors high. So you would be barely seeing over the hotels. Whereas if you're another 60, 70 feet up or potentially 80 feet up, you're going to be having this type of view. And right now, 160,000 is the potential view. Now, that's the real estate portion once again that I talked about at the outset. So let me know what you guys think. But again, if you're serious about investing, here goes another opportunity for somebody. Because again, if you missed the opening, I did not even realize it. I was talking with George's Charles about it. 
And I didn't even realize I count the seventh floor and up, even though they counted it 601, floor six, six level, 601 and up. I count 701 and up. I'm not even counting. I'm not counting six floor because that's going to skim the top of the hotel. And yes, you'll still be able to see views on the horizon, but I want the view like the one they show in the picture or similar to that, right? So think about something, the seventh floor to the 14th floor, that's only seven units. That's seven two bedrooms, twice, 14 two bedrooms a building. One bedrooms, there's seven. So therefore, when we start talking about ocean view, there can only be 21 in tower one, 21 in tower two. That's it in first phase that has that type of view. Out of the 21, right? 14 and 14, I'm sorry. 21 in the building. But out of let's say all 21, we'll use all 21. But how many people are going to live there? How many people are going to do long-term rentals? How many people are not going to do rentals at all? And how many people are going to do rentals? I don't know the number. If it's 40%, then you can do the numbers, right? 21 twice. That's it. 42. If we do 40%, that's 16. 17. That's it. On all platforms. And it's also going to depend on who you're going to use. If you're going to allow the property to manage your unit. Or if you're going to do it yourself. And if you do it yourself, you have to have a management company that's going to be approved by Laramar. So that's what they're calling do it yourself, right? So that's going to be your options. But the question is, how many people are going to be renting? We don't know. But I do know this. It will not be 100%. And there's only 40 units. And out of the two bedrooms, there's only 28 units. So can you imagine 40%? Can you imagine if it's only 30%, it's even better. We're talking 12 people, 13 people maybe. And you got to keep in mind, once they're booked, that reduces the number that's available. So you go from 14 to 10, 10 to 5, and next thing you know, somebody better be charging an arm and a leg. That's all I know. All right, let's go. That was the deal of the century. I believe it's coming up because I don't know if the person's going to get it or not. It's going to be somebody canceled another person here in the SSN nation. He's deciding if he's going to get it, but he's, I've been talking with him and there's some that he might pick something else. Yes. That has the view as well. And if he does, that means that unit's going to become available to somebody here. I'm hoping instead of letting it be on the open market. Auntie Val, new opportunities in beachfront Java, baby. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Here we go. ARR, yes. Check out stock ARR. Re yes, Brian P., since you came in a little bit later, we did talk about ARR. But since you mentioned it, why not show anybody that has arrived later? It's over 17%, ladies and gentlemen. 19.67%. This is outstanding. Yes, we already talked about ARR. We talked about ORC. We talked about REFI just to be conservative. We talked about AGNC to be conservative. We talked about, oh, you know something we didn't talk about? We talked about IEP as well because Victor Morrell dropped that one. But no, it's okay because not everybody saw that when we that what we talked about earlier. So it's a good thing that we go back because some people might have missed it. They miss out on 20% returns. Come on now. They're missing out on this. People could be uh, getting this, right? Here we go. Look at this. Look at all of these. IEP. 19.99% at this price point. Look at this. This is like a who's who of 20 percenters damn near. Look at this. ORC, 20.78%. Sheesh. This is incredible. Not just one, not just two, not just three. It's incredible. We're on the uh, big train tonight talking about wealthy Wednesday night live stream. You guys, 20% returns. Can you imagine if they were able to increase the interest rate, these companies, which are REITs, are able to hang on. And then all of a sudden they started reducing interest rates in like three months. Can you imagine 20%? 
and they're just going to get healthier and healthier as they reduce the interest rates. That means there's going to be more profit and more revenues. My goodness. Jeez, it could be outstanding. Wow. Wow. I have to write these down. <laughs> exactly. Well, if you miss this one, then you need to see this. You need to see this. You need to see this one. T-S-L-Y. You, you need to see this, this one. This, this one here. I don't know what went on. I've not done any research. I don't know how they're delivering this type of return. But this year, I don't know if there's a cap on. Maybe they're just doing dividends for two years or four years. or I, I don't know what they're doing. But this is outrageous. $9.96 annual return, meaning on average somewhere around 83, 84, 85, 88, 90 cents. No, it, that means it's around 80 cents. That would get us around, yeah, it's a, it's around 83 cents. I guess that is the average, like Victor Morell was saying. It's somewhere around there. Per month, per share, you have 100 shares. 83, crazy. That's insane. This is insane. My goodness. My, my goodness. Uh, here, we'll do this too. While, while we're here, why not? You want some more to write down? Let's go. Why not? Um, wait, we're not getting ARC. I think that, oh yeah, that's the right one. What's happening? Doesn't like it. That's cute. Hold on. You guys didn't see it. I didn't even have it on screen. Okay. It's fine. We're going to get there. Here's Ork. 54%, ladies and gentlemen. $8.02 annually. This is insane. This is insane. I, I, I got I got to find out how long they're going to be doing this because this is outrageous right here. This is outrageous. If you guys see this one? Nope. Yes, saw that one too. This is outrageous. I'll put this one back into TSOY. Yes, the yeah, so everybody can see. This is crazy. This is beautiful, beautiful. 68 cents, 55 cents, 50 cents. Outstanding. Outstanding. There we go. This is the TSLY, $9.96. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Let me see. Uh, the, the, the Let's go. NVIDIA, right? I think it's uh, NVDY. Yep. Is that right? I, I, I thought it was, well, Maybe it's not in video. Yeah, there we go. This is great. This is great. Let's see. NVDY, no mention. Just started out, though. 81, 95, 74. So, again, the, these must have some sort of end dates and beginning dates. This is only three payments thus far, but it looks like, well, there's no real way to say. 75 cents is the lowest 95 cents is the highest. So, but so far, that's it's a dollar seventy 
So we're at $2.50 in three months. If they had that as a normal return, that'd be $10. Let's go see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. It looks like the Wi-Fi connections are acting up, but it's all right. We're back. Thank you so much for waiting. Brian P. was saying, my God, geez, I've been asleep. Yes, I put 1,500 on it. Hey, I can't. Hey, I mean, you're getting over 50% return. According to this, you would get $750, right? I mean, according to this, Oh, wait, hold on a second. Yeah, actually, that's, wait, is that, wait, that's $800 if it gave 83 cents. And I'm referring to the, uh, what was that one, NVDY, or no, that wasn't it. Um, which one was that, actually? Which one was that? AMZY. Oh, no, I went to AMZY, but uh, no dividends messages coming up. So... Let's go back. Who was the one before this one? Yeah, 1500 would have, been, would have been 81 cents a share. Oh, share price. That's right. I haven't taken that into consideration. Uh, the share price. I was wondering, my numbers are, I'm thinking of dollars. Um, what's the share? I don't know what the share price, NVDY. But nonetheless, we'll just say it is what it is. Uh, let's call it. I don't know what it is since I don't know the dividend, so I can't do a reversal, but it doesn't really matter. But here, we'll go one more back. We'll go back one. Let's go see what this is. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, I see what happened. When I got... Yes, and, and Vanessa Cummingay says, oh, my God, I've been sleep. We've all been sleeping. I mean, a lot of us have been sleeping. But this is why I love the input from you, everybody, because we've been sleeping on this the whole time. It's been mentioned before, but we didn't realize the returns were so high. That's what's insane here. Now we understand. And it's still not too late. So that's $9.96 for TSLY. I wonder how long they're going to get about dividends. This is crazy. This is outstanding. So there's, I think that's ORK, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay, NVDY, they just started. Very interesting. I don't know how the options class works, but all I know is anybody giving out the dividends like this, this is insane. We're loving life. All right. Okay, the excitement. I will do this. I will go to Dominican today just in case there's something that I missed on the Dominican Weekly. 
which will be in the next week. Like we're moving slow. We've been asleep. A lot of people have been asleep. Thanks to Brian P and Victor Morrell, re uh, reestablishing something that we can invest in. This is pretty good. Got to give them the props. Okay. Yes, A and V, D, Y, and APR are fairly new ETFs. Their strategy is to sell options to big institutions. That's how they can generate such a high yield. They collect millions in option premium. Ah, there we go. There we go. Every transaction, they actually superseded the brokerages, such as Robinhood and all these guys who take fees, Fidelity, uh, Schwab, and all these guys take fees. So I understand. They do, they do millions of transactions. This is how simple crypto was supposed to be. They were just supposed every transaction from the exchange, you take the $1, the $5, the 10, you have millions of, well, hundreds of thousands of transactions per day. Why do you care if you make $30,000, $100,000 per day for doing a transaction? Why do you got to get into other stuff? Here it is right here. I love that concept. I'm thanking you for explaining that. Victor Morrell, because that's the research. I was thinking that's what was happening, something along those lines. So this is going to be very good. What's your cost basis for TSLY? Did you buy lump sum or did you DCA into it? Yep, dollar cost average into it, ladies and gentlemen. And you can start with Robinhood and Webull down below in the description box. They are apps. You can buy TS, TSLY. I already checked. You can probably buy all of them. I Yeah, you can because on the recommendations, oh. A R K came up. All of them came up. A M L Y came up. A M Z L Y, I believe. A M L Y. A M L Y is Amazon. Then they Apple. A I can't remember all of them. A P L Y. All of them came up in recommendations. So you can buy them on Robinhood and Webull. They're ETFs by the big boys. Okay, thanks, Brian and Victor. I need to take you guys class. <laughs> you already took the class, Vanessa Comagate. They were kind enough to be the instructors for the night. <laughs> the SSN Academy, SSN University. Um, it's beautiful. Beautiful how this goes down. I love it. All right. I love it. Yes, thanks for bringing this to the attention once again. This is what you were talking about two to three or four weeks ago. I didn't realize what it was. I thought it was an options specific trade. I didn't realize it was stocks and you got, got returns like this. We just need to see how long these returns are coming. Because if they start saying this is for life, then everybody should be jumping in on these. There's no reason to go with my, I'm sitting here, ORC, yes, 20%. We're talking about the other ones at 19, 20% as well, like the IEPs and all that. But we're talking 40, 50, 60%. Woo, that's a lot different. And the stock price or the ETF price is not even $55 or $70 or anything like that. They're reasonable. $14, $15, $20. This is reasonable. Very, very nice. That's it. Just another source of income. That's the way we look at it. Exactly. Passive income to be specific. Money making while you sleep. Exactly. Significant money making while you sleep it's not 10 percent or even 20 we're talking 40 50 60 percent good god almighty that's insane when if you told somebody you could do like simply three percent per month they would look at you like no nah, that's a scam <laughs> that's all they would say that's a scam there's no way when they said something like five percent per month you're like get out of here nobody's doing that Yes, you're speaking my language is what she's saying, the seamless genius. You're speaking my language, Victor. I love passive income. Exactly. We always love it. Passive income, ladies and gentlemen, making your money work for you while you sleep at these phenomenal numbers is insane. I'm here for it. Man, this is this is so great. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to make this short tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody for being here. If there's anything else you want to talk about, please do so. In case you're here now and want to get in the chat room and you can't, there's a reason. On Wednesday nights, only members with the icon and members of the channel, they're the only ones that can be in the chat room. Everybody else, you can only watch and have your pen, pad, and paper ready for the gems that were dropped tonight. 
because this is not what they tell people in school. This is not what they tell people in college. This is not information they want to give up lightly to just anyone. And it's a good thing that we had these gentlemen in the house to let us know once again, check these out. Because now it's even more ridiculous. And you know what's even funnier? I think this is going to be very interesting. What's going to happen if, I don't know the correlation with these ETFs. What happens if the Federal Reserve increases their interest rates, which the stock market is believing, and I believe they should. Does that mean their share price comes down? If their share price comes down, that means the yield goes higher. That is what's crazy about this. That's what could happen. My goodness. Wow. This show is on fire. Exactly, Brian P. And you've helped ignite the fire. This show is on fire for sure. And Vanessa Comagate, the seamless genius, says, I love my SSN family. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. We love you as well. Thank you for all the information you have given us over the years to help us all out. Because, again, anybody can do this. That's what we talk about here. No courses, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. There's people right now that have sent $5,000, $10,000, $40,000 for the red, I won't say who they are, club. And you could have put it here and went Steph Curry on people, went night-night. For that 40 grand could be in this earning. I don't, you know what? Let me go get a calculator because this stuff is crazy. This stuff is real, real crazy. All right, we'll get back to the, we'll get back to this in a second. Let me see if I have this on the screen. Are we getting there? There we go. All right, we'll come back to this. Where's the calculator? We're going to do something. Okay, TSLY stock. No, I don't want the dividends. All right. We'll see what we get here. We got the yield max stock price. Wasn't it 1466? I think that's what it was. I think it, think it was $14 and 66 cents. Wasn't it? Uh, uh, okay. 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 Let's go see. 1466. All right. There you go. Google calculator. Where are you? Let's go. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the situation. There's some people out here paying. Okay. $15,000 for so-called courses. And let's go here. 14.66. You would have a thousand shares of TSLY. Now, last month, they did a little over 83 cents, 83.2 or something like that, right? So now what we're going to do is do 88.83. That's 83 cents. This is going to equal. This is what people would be getting back, $849 for real. Seriously? My goodness. Really? Really? That month? Let's go look. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Let's go look at this. This can't this. This blows me away. Quite frankly, this is crazy. This is real crazy. Where's the uh, where's the ETF for this? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. We do the real here. We do a little homework. Yes. Eighty three point zero three. So eighty three cents was correct. That was just that month. The month before, that would have generated over $1,000. So already you would have had $1,800. Return on your 15. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's right. That is right. That is right. We're doing 67% annually. So that 15 times six, that's nine Gs. It's over nine Gs. So that those numbers are correct. Okay, I, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Money shift coming up. I can't take it anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God. 
Holy smokes. I'm sorry. The reason why I'm doing something right now is because uh oh Victor Morrell, we got a little we got a little uptick. Got some reservations happening on uh Airbnb. All of a sudden, out the blue, we're going from three percent. To six <laughs> percent at least that's in fam like i said we love you too vanessa oh we have a little problem if i get disconnected you guys know what time it is you know, know this it's always happens whenever we get into this stock talk whenever we get in, into this real <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh my yes yeah i got booted again ladies and gentlemen imagine if you reinvest your monthly income or better yet add fresh money on top of that that's a wrap yes victor moreau exactly thank you for mentioning that aspect not only do you keep investing a little bit more man it's a wrap we gotta find out i i'm i gotta find out we're gonna talk about this on friday because i want to know how long they've been giving out these dividends or how long these etfs have been in business doing this because if this is a long-term situation i am shocked that every financial person would not be telling people to put their money in here i'd be shocked there is such a thing i'm thinking now there's a set number of profits coming in so the more people coming in, I'm thinking that means that the more has to be divided. There has to be a set number. But again, we're in an industry in an age now where so many people around the world are doing trading. They're learning. I'm, I'm sitting down. You guys know Darcy's been on the channel before. She does trading. She says, hey, Eric, I work with IX that did Driven. The Driven guys went out of IX after the IX got in trouble with the SEC. So they did started their own thing. Then they split off because the partner said, well, now this is a good time for me to do my own thing. So now people are paying for their signals, for their lessons. They're taking lessons. They're paying people $1,500, $500. But people are doing it because they're hearing things such as I can make, you know, $1,000 a day or whatever the case may be, $500 a day. So they're paying people to learn that and do like uh practice like Victor Moreau was talking about. And then they give them part of a, I don't know the full thing because I still don't understand it. Oh no, come back boss. That's right. I'm back. We're coming back. We keep coming back. I can't believe these returns. I'm excited. Yes, Vanessa Comigate. I'm excited too. I can't believe it. I've been sleeping even though they've told us about it before. Brian P. Hey, Victor, I'm going to get some more TSL. You have to. At 67% return, ladies and look at this. At 67%, 
First of all, you can compound it. So it's more than 67%, but I'm going to use the calculator because I'm just going to use a simple 67%, which is the weirdest part, right? Let's see. I'm just going to use 67%, not compound. So here's the thing. Let's just say you have 1,000 shares, yikes, and you get 67%. That's uh, that's not right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not right. Hold on. Okay. 1,000 shares generates 83 cents per share. And that's 10,000. So we're going to have to take this back. That generates $830 if you have 1,000 shares. The following month, you're going to have 1,800 830 more shares, right? No, I'm wrong. It's $14.66. So we're going to have to do it a little different way. So 830, let's say, divided by 14.66. There we go. 56.6 shares. So now we have 1,056 shares. All right. Now let's see if this will work out. If this will work like a calculator. Yes, there we go. So now we do this times 0.83. That's $876 this next month. So now how much will it buy? It all depends on the stock price. But nonetheless, if it hovers around $1,450 to $1,475, we're loving life because that means another 56 shares. So we can compound. But the real deal is, what if you're able to get $876 every month? That's the real deal you need to consider. 876 times 12. There you go. $15,000 investment gets you about $10,500 annually. Any questions? Any questions? You can't beat it. Can't beat it, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot beat it. Even if you have to start small, even if you say I have $50, $25, this is unbelievable. Brian P, go for it. I'm doing it weekly. This is my inflation buster. Clearly inflation buster, Victor Morero. Thank you both for this information. I love it. All right. Well, with all this excitement tonight, we're going to have to wrap this up almost. But once again, for everybody that came in late, if you missed it already, I talked about Laramar City and Resort. There is a unit in Tower One that somebody canceled. A member of the SSN Nation has got the hold on it right now. They are deciding if they want to get this or somewhere else in Laramar. This has the view of a lifetime. That's what I'm going to call it, the view of of a lifetime. Let me see. Can I get it back up? I don't have the PDF, but nonetheless, view of a lifetime. In fact, let's just do it this way. And in fact, it's up front, boardwalk view, city view on the horizon. You will have ocean view. Now, $160,000 for a two-bedroom. And I put this up on the screen so everybody can see it. I'll show you here in case some people don't understand what I'm talking about. Here's Laramar. This is what we're talking about. You're going to have a unit. Well, I can't scroll along. This is, this is the type of view you could have. This is up top, but still, you are going to be in the building, Tower 1, in the above the 10th floor, $160,000. And this is the view you're going to have, except, you know, that's the penthouse unit, but you're going to be pretty high. The penthouse unit starts on the 15th level, which is the bottom where the bedrooms are. And then the 16th floor is this level where you see here in the penthouse unit. You're going to be four or five floors below this. So you're going to have that type of view. These are renderings. $160,000. The price goes up in October, 2.5%. It will not last. So that's why I'm telling you right now, 
if you guys want to stand in line, I suggest if you want this and the other person cancels and you want to get it, you need to be the first to know. All right. So I'm just telling you right now, get your radar on because on Friday night, we're going to have a decision. And if it, there's a decision before that, I'm going to be dropping a video. It's open to everybody. So I'm letting you know right now, down below in the description box, make sure you sign up for uh, get WhatsApp, get Gwen's WhatsApp number. He's the realtor. All right. Get his WhatsApp number, because once we do the announcement that it's actually available, you need to contact him and send in your one thousand or two thousand, whatever the reserve money is ASAP. Wire it in. So we're going to find out in the next 24, 48 hours, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So again, these are only 792 square feet. They're not that large. They're just nice units. Two bedroom, two bath, 300 square foot terrace space or balcony space, not terrace, but balcony, patio. Well, no, balcony is what I'm going to call it because it's not a terrace. It's just a balcony, 300 square foot balcony, 792 square feet interior and two bedrooms, two baths, all three bathrooms, all uh, the living room and each bedroom runs on a balcony. So that's pretty cool. And these are the type of views you're talking about. This is a rising building that you're seeing. That, and this is back at the prime. See the boardwalk down below this boardwalk area. That's what I'm, I'm referring to. You get to see all of this unobstructed views. How cool is that? Now, I don't know about the, the sunset, but that is spectacular. All right. 160K. I'm just saying. No credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry. And in case you don't know what's here at Laramar, I, I, the list goes on and on. I can't even keep giving the list out. It's it's just a, it's just ridiculous. Nobody believes it's going to be built. Here are this pool, 120 feet long, just so people know. I know the dimensions. The pool is 53 square meters long, just so you know. 40 yards, something like that, more than that. 40, 42, 41, whatever, 120 feet. This gives you an idea. This is Laramar, smart city. They can call it, they can call it whatever they want. All I know is you don't have to leave. Everything is here. And that view is going to end up being one of the great views for Punakana, even though we are five kilometers. I haven't counted, but I'm counting five or six kilometers from the actual ocean. But see all these man-made beaches down here? As an owner and a guest, you get to go hang at either one on whatever level you want. That's the key to this whole thing. 1.8 miles, eventually six, seven, eight years from now. Here's level one, beach club. People have to pay to get in that beach club. Owners, you don't have to pay. You get to go hang out down there. That is your playground. Second level here is the owner's only level. You can't even pay to get in that level. Owners and guests can only stay at the second level. And then the hotel has their own special little pools and stuff inside there, which only their guests can use. Horizon view. Only people in Horizon can go in the building and use us. They're going to have a fitness center in Horizon. They're going to have a, a hey, according to everybody, infinity pool up in here. Uh, the terraces, though, are to die for, but they cost them the 200000 Plenty of Horizons are available because they start at 233000 So there you go. Here we go. That's it. Here we go. Brian P saying he's doing his every week. I'm doing it weekly. This is my inflation. Oh, that was Victor Morrell with his inflation buster. And then Brian P says, great show, Eric. Thank you so much, Brian P. I appreciate that. And I appreciate your input tonight. This helps a lot of people out. This is why you have to share the videos. Because can you imagine people right now putting money in their 401k and they're sending it out to these companies or these other businesses and they're sitting there going hey guys we got you 9.5 percent your whole annual return and you're sitting there like wait a minute i i could get like i missed out on 40 percent 30 percent 50 percent you can't replace that missing you can't you're missing all that free money while you sleep meanwhile they're using your money to invest in this and then telling you here's your nine percent or here's your twelve percent Here's your 15%. You're feeling real good. Not knowing they got 60%. You could do it yourself. All right. 
man, this was great. I came late and got some gems. Thank you so much, Seamless Genius. Vanessa Comagate, very nice to see you once again. Thank you for that. I'm glad you got here as well. You never know what you're going to miss. That's why the replays, in case you did come late, sometimes watch the replays. I should invest my extra 1000 a month on these stocks. Exactly. 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 Because if we do numbers, once we do numbers, here, I'm going to show people some more of this. Once we do the numbers, let me go Google Calculator. I'm going to do something very simple because a lot of people might have $1,000 that they can put in. The, the stock for TSLY is uh, 1000 Ah, uh, Come on. 1,000, you guys stop. 1,000 divided by 14.66 equals, uh, what's happening? Come on. Okay. Is 68 shares. So then when you do 68 shares times 0.83, that gets you. $56. Okay. $56 divided by one, four. I'm just, I don't know if it'll be 1466, but we'll just do it that way is another 3.86 shares. So there you go. So that's $56 every month. Is that 50? Yeah. $56 every month coming in. That also means when you reinvest it, you have more shares, so now you're going to have a few more dollars, three three or four more dollars, because uh, 3.86 times 0.83, that's going to be roughly three more dollars per month. And every month thereafter, you're on a roller coaster, just reinvested, poof, poof, four dollars, then five, then six, then seven, then eight. It just keeps rolling, Warren Buffett style. There we go. Warren Buffett style. Can't get no better than that. All right. Beautiful. I agree. Yes, Vanessa says, Brian P. I, I, exactly. You can't go wrong. That's right. I can't go wrong. TSLY is the options trading side of Tesla. So you aren't getting trash stocks. Exactly. This is major league. It's big time, Victor Morero. I thank you guys for explaining this for the freaking third or fourth time. Because we didn't get it earlier because I, again, I thought it was just an options thing that you were saying this was my return on. I didn't realize they were ETFs. This is incredible. I can really rack up. Exactly. Anybody can. A $500 investment per month, a thousand, a seven fifty, anything. You're off to the races. I mean, I, I, I just can't, I just can't even, I just think of this. I, I'm like, if somebody put in $500, they got 60% return. That's $300. And they now have $800 and it's compounding, but it's going to be more than $800. But let's just say it's annual. It's $800. Now $800 is still getting you 60% return because you're reinvesting it. That's what's crazy about this. That's insane. That's $480 next, the next year. So your $500 is going to be double. And then some, you're going to have $1,200. That's crazy. That's insane. And then the 1200 the next year is 670 or 700 So now year four, you have $1,900 worth of, and then from there, it just starts blossoming because it, it's, it just gets, and that's without adding any more money. That is insane track. This is insane track. I mean, this is this is really crazy. Really crazy. I'm a numbers guy. I get excited about this. I recommend not putting all your eggs in the same basket. However, if you invest a significant amount, it will take no time for you to start investing house money. Exactly. That's it, Victor Morrell. This is why you have to study. Again, we have to understand Does it, how long are they giving out these type of returns? We don't know. They might have it in their information, the prospectus, they might say, hey, we're only going to do this for five years or 10 years. So that way you'll understand there are stock investments that give out dividends for a set amount of time. They'll say three years, four years, five years, seven years, 10 years. They may say it. So you got to be up on this because these are so awesome returns 
But if we know they're getting these returns from transactions, not having to generate it, that changes the whole game. That's like crypto exchange. There's no reason for them to go out of business or do illegal activity because they make money from every trade. So if you have a thousand trades and you're getting two dollars per minute, why are you going to care? You should be like going, hey, I'm reg. I want to be regulated. Every jurisdiction, I want to be regulated. I want to be licensed. I want to be in your jurisdiction. I want to take money from your citizens. What do I need to do? I don't need to create no tokens. I don't need to create nothing. I got 500,000 transactions and I'm getting $2 each per day. Is a million dollars a day. I'll take it. What is there to do here? Why F around and find out? I don't understand what these guys are doing out here. This is incredible. I want in the game. All right. Very good advice, Victor Moreau. Appreciate it. In case you're new here, what you're seeing in the background is Laramar City. See that a unit up front in one of these towers? I have 1,000 to play with a month, so I need to be smart. That's it. All it takes is just 500 and then let it reinvest itself if you don't feel comfortable, right? You don't have to, you know, just start. And then if you want to do 200 later or 100 later out of every check, then so be it. But the fact of the matter is get started and let your money start working for itself. You can buy $200 and get started and then just add $100 per month. It's going to grow so fast at a 60% clip. Jesus, that's insane. And it's reinvesting at that 60% rate, which is insane. That's There ought to be a law against this. There is one except this is different. They're using transactions from options as the profit to give the money. That is beautiful. The more people that find out, the less the money is going to come in because there's going to be a more people buying the shares. But that also means there's probably a cap of how many shares are even available, which also means, I mean, I got to check this out because if they do this right, this could be astronomical. If you put a cap on the shares, because once people find out you're giving these type of returns, you have a cap. You People that bought all the shares, that means the shares have to go up. And who's going to be selling their shares? Seriously, all you're going to be doing is accumulating and using the dividends they're giving you to accumulate more shares freely like Warren Buffett does. And I don't know why you would take your money out. There would be no reason. Just reinvest. So, Jesus, that's how it's going to be. All right, I'm trying to put in 5,000 more in. <laughs> Brian P., hey, just be nice about it, man. Make sure you guys double check everything. Make sure, because what will happen is at the end of time, let's say they had a five-year. Right now, it's good because you get in early, let's say. But when it starts getting to four years, and let's say the stock price was or is $14.66, once people realize that they only have a year to do something or a year and a half, all of a sudden, people don't want to buy it. And so then now the stock price starts coming down. So now when you cash out, yes, you took all this money in, but now you have to be mindful that the stock price might be half. So now the amount of shares you have isn't worth what you thought they might be worth. So you got to be careful. You have to be up on this, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I want to check out. But great. If he puts it, man, that's incredible. That's $3,000 the first year if they keep paying this out. Put in 5,000, get 3,000 back. Actually, a little more because you're going to compound. Beautiful work if you can get it. But, I, hey, why even take high risk? I mean, think about it. You, you, hey, who wouldn't want to eventually, like I said, put it in the 401K maybe or, or wait a year, then withdraw. So it's 15% to you because the first year, 25. But you don't want to leave it in there unless you know for a fact they don't have any timelines. All I'm saying is we're going to talk about this on Friday. Vanessa Comagate says, nice, exactly, Brian P. Wow, thanks. Exactly. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, we're going to wrap this up. What you see on the screen, that's Laramar. Here's uh, Victor Morell's Tiki Bar. He's going to be coming to visit, hanging out up here at this man-made beach in the cabanas with uh, us owners because we can come down to the front. We'll bring them with us. Everybody from SSN Nation, you guys are going to be invited whenever you're visiting uh, Punakana. If uh, one of us are in town, you know, the, some of the owners will be there. 
that means uh, you can come through with us, come hang out, go to the beach clubs. You won't have to pay. Come down here, stay in these little huts over water if they have it. These are renderings. And seating areas in the second area, you don't want to be amongst the crowd and party goers, so to speak. Go hang in the chill in the second zone. You can see the levels a little better here. They're shopping underneath. So if you need something, the mini marts or something, I'm pretty sure one will be down here where you can get yourself something to eat, drink. Restaurants going to be down under here. Bars probably. I don't know what's going to be down there, quite frankly. But look at this here. Look at this. This is what's in the back which nobody else out here can get into unless you're an owner. Look at this little area. If they build this and make it look anywhere near like these renderings, this is going to be off the charts. And we haven't even gotten to all the other amenities that they really have. This is just where people live. Never mind the supermarkets underneath. There might be a supermarket underneath this tower, a supermarket underneath that, or a mini mart. I'm just saying you only have to leave the compound ever. Free transportation allegedly but if it's not free i understand there's gas there's insurance there's things like that but transportation to and from the beach transportation to downtown transportation to a beach club yet to be determined i'm just saying what more can you ask for and one hundred sixty thousand dollars. if one of our ssn nation members does not get it you can get a spot here for 160 with the horizon views the ocean view and the boardwalk view up front that's where you want to be. Now, before I go, I talked about this several times and I mentioned Kanapali Beach Club. So I'm going to show people where Kanapali Beach Club is. All right. Uh, in fact, let me put it on screen. It's in Maui for all those who don't know. You've heard of Maui Fire and the city of Kanapali which is a historic place, is uh, in ruins. Kanapali Beach Club is not, even though it's Lahaina, it's not in downtown. It's outside of town, of course. So let's see. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I'm talking about here. Kanapali Beach Club, okay, let me go to pictures. They are on the beach, the, the, the resort itself, and the beach is eroding, which is sad, quite frankly. Um, you know, but here, here's, here's ocean front unit different from ocean view. So here is what you see. This is a great picture for what I'm about to talk about. All right. Is this, yeah, there's their waterfalls and little caves and a little slide here. Yeah. Okay. So right here, here's a person that's probably on the, I don't know, 10th floor or something. And the units face this way. You guys have heard this story before. I've talked about it even on uh, last on Monday. This is exactly what you can see right here. So the way the building is designed, see how the building is. So they're probably like right here for that view. But look at this. The beach is over here. So when I had an ocean view room, my unit was in this tower. All right. But my unit was in this corner. So not this tower here, this tower here. So when I walk on my patio balcony, this is blocking the ocean. And they said, Eric, you have an ocean view room. And so I was like, where's the ocean? Because my room, I was thinking was going to be here, here, here. Ocean view. I can see the ocean from this, right? So as you can see, you can see the ocean if you're in that section. But the other section, not so much. But this gives me a perfect example. So when I looked outside my balcony, I saw like part like this section right here. I couldn't see the beach. No beach. But you know what I could see? See this back here? That's what I was telling you guys. That's what I could see from my unit and that's what they told me hey look past the trees or look past that other building on the other side and i can't remember the name of it then i i started looking past the buildings and the trees and i saw this blue and that's when i started laughing going oh my god i actually can see water 
And I said, okay, I guess I do have an ocean view room. <laughs> I just started laughing because it wasn't this ocean that I was thinking that's right out front. I just had to show you guys in real time what it looks like. It's funny as hell. I told you this story before, but I want to show you this. Here's what I want to show you for all those people like Victor Morrell. He owns it. Uh, Connor Rock. He owns it. Galaxy. And one of the things that he loved about Galaxy, you have to understand, this is September, what is that, September 18th to the 19th? I need to go to a website, but I'll put this in. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't. Do we have any, right? Let's go to 23rd. Maybe that'll happen. Who knows? I got it. I got it. I have to do something here. I have, I hate this when this happens. Wait. That was crazy. That was crazy. Exactly. Yeah, it was funny as hell. when. Uh, and that's the one that I saw. And I was like, oh, my God, she's right. I was like, way down there? I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. Where's the room where I got ocean view where I can actually see the ocean right here in front of us? Say, well, you got your ocean view. I, I was, it was funny as hell. But you're right. That's what it looked like. Lone, maybe. Brian P. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this says here. Brian P., are you getting a loan or are you plan to pay cash? Remember, their terms aren't the same as in the USA. Oh, I missed something up here. Let's see. Yes, sir. Tell the guards to let me in. Coming to visit the big rollers. <laughs> oh, man. I was just getting ready to say uh, Victor Marrero was... Uh, he owns uh, at the beach, right, at uh, at uh, Connor Rock, and he purchased at the Galaxy for a reason because from his unit, you'll have ocean view. So those ocean view units have a value. And just like a, as a simple form, I was going to show you here, we're going to go to, I don't know what dates came in for Lahaina. Let's see. Here we go. View deals. I want to show you myself. Let's see if uh looks like I'm getting burnt tonight from their nonsense. They're taking me off a of stream yard. I'm losing it. I don't know if it's my what it is. I'm going to use my dividend to pay for a place over there. Hey, I like it. I like it. Very smart move, Brian P. Very smart move. We, I remember you asking about two to three weeks ago, should I use all my cash to put it in a vehicle um, or should I use it to put it on a down payment? And I have to say, I believe we discussed it. And I said, hey, man, if you can get a decent return, why not use that cash and use that cash to pay for a place? That is the ultimate way to do it because you still have the cash and you still have the cash making money for you. And this is exactly the playbook you want when you have your rental income coming in as well. You want to use that money to pay for a liability until that liability is an asset. All right. So 
glad you mentioned that because I'm glad that route is much better, especially when you're getting these type of returns. All right. So here we are. I want to show you, this is saying 228. I don't know what night it ultimately ended up being, but, but we'll get here sooner or later. I don't know what to do. Give me out to a new, new screen. I hate when they do the new screen opening. Because when I come off my screen, they like to remove me out of my spot. No loan necessary. Do not do the loan. Wow, it looks great. Uh, we're taking a sweep. All right. Uh, uh, okay. We'll keep talking then until my screen comes up. Maybe I got to get a new computer or something. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that'll be the deal. Okay, so there's Kanapali Beach. That's the pool. No biggie. Okay, we're still not. Okay, there we go. 228 per night. All right. Let's see here. Look at this. So look, 228 regular standard room, which will not have an ocean view. 237 standard apartment so it depends on what you're booking but look at here c view 240 now that's standard apartment i don't know the difference between standard and deluxe but all right but look at this standard room is 240 for c view we know which one that is that's the one in the back that i had probably deluxe c view is 405 so these are the differences that you have to understand that when you have ocean view or what they're calling sea view, which I don't know what that means, but sea view is ocean view in this case, I'm assuming. But one is probably up front. The 405 is probably the one up front where you can see the ocean and it's right there. The 240 is probably the unit like I had that's over there in the back that you can see five miles away the water or two miles away the water, whatever it is. Uh, so there is a little higher price premium. Now, in our case at Laramar, only the units up front can have the full view. So therefore you would jump to the most ex expensive place. I don't know about these prices. I don't think you can get 405, but I'd be willing to bet you you can get 240 though, three years from now or two years from now especially when you include all the amenities. So that gives you an, a short synopsis on what happens when you have ocean view at a place, even in Maui versus not having ocean view. Brian P, are you getting a loan? Are you planning to pay cash? Remember the terms weren't the same as in the US. Oh yeah, the uh, I think he's gonna do pre-construction, Victor Marrero. I don't think he's, unless, well, I guess he could get a loan, 9.6%. I mean, here's what's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very interesting. 9.7, 9.6% is their loan rates in the DR. They reduced their interest rate. Their central bank reduced their federal funds rate in the DR this past month or this in a, a week ago. So that's pretty cool. And if you do get a loan, yeah, the terms are going to be different. And they do amortizations and it's due in five years. It's 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 a little different ballgame. But he can do pre-construction right now and have used some of that money to pay for it. All right. We're going to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. And remember, only members with the icon can be in the chat room tonight. So if you try to get in the chat room and you can't, there's a reason on Wednesday nights, only members with the icon can be here and get in the chat room. Everybody can watch. Everybody can share the video. Everybody can hit the like button. Everybody can smash the subscribe button because they're both free. And that'd be greatly appreciated if you support the channel because we are doing great work here to help people become financially independent, financially free business thinkers, investment thinkers, investors, and real estate and stocks and businesses, and even figuring out later how crypto is going to come into play by having unstoppable domains to make sure you can receive crypto without having to go through an exchange. 
and it make it simple with a name such as 10 to $20, stopstrugglingnow.crypto. Simple. Yes, you have to pay fees and things like that, but nonetheless, we'll talk about that. Friday night, you guys might want to come and check us out. We might have someone on here who has talked with George and myself. George is Charles is the person that put me on a three-way with this guy. He's talking about Jubilee. It's an app. So I'll just tell you right now. He is claiming that you will be able to send thousands of dollars for nine. So in other words, I'll put it this way. We wire money to the DR. Okay. It costs 25 Navy Federal, $40 if you do it online with Chase. If you go into a bank, it might cost you five to ten dollars more than that. Forty five, fifty, fifty five dollars for whatever you're going to wire. This guy is claiming something like ten dollars. No matter the amount. Not only that, he's claiming. That. If I send it to you right now from the United States to the D.R., I could be on the phone with you and say, did you get it yet? Instantly. You can send it to people. You can send it to a bank, business, and all of that. And it arrives instantly. Somewhat like a credit card transaction. I don't know how he's doing this. He talked to me earlier today. I understand a little banking. I still have my you know, reservations. Because he keeps saying instantly, I understand instantly works with credit cards because they're backing the payment. So they're, there's a digital electronic. I understand that part. But from a banking standpoint, me trying to get money into somebody else's account, same day, I don't know about that, especially in a foreign country. We have a system in America that takes days, a reservation, uh, uh, not reservation, <laughs> Federal Reserve banking system, they have their own. When you try, that's why they cut off the times. You can't wire money at 4 p.m. in the day if you are in California. They're going to say we're wiring it the next day. You can wire at 4 p.m. Eastern time because it's still 1 p.m. Pacific. And the way the banking system works, you're going across three or four regions. So it can get there same day. But in California, after 2 p.m. or 1 p.m., they're telling you, we got to send it the next day. All right. That's how wires work. But if I'm sending it outside of the country, there is no way the wires get in there same day. So he's claiming he has a different way that he can do it, but he's using the banking system, which I'm I don't I, he, maybe the guy will come on. He'll tell us some things we will see. But the Jubilee app, it's on Google Play Store. Right now, these people are using it. So tomorrow, the next day, I hope to get on somebody that's in the DR. Now, it only works in the United States and DR. Just like Cash App can only work in Canada, United States, and the UK. But Cash App isn't instant in all cases. But they do have instant kind of things, too. Beats PayPal, who could be delayed, right? So I'm just saying, these are the type of things. Oh, my, Brian P., thank you so much for the super sticker. He already has the icon showing the financial support. Now he threw in the super sticker this evening, so thank you so much for that. And, Brian P., your contribution is invaluable, but I appreciate, I humbly appreciate the donation, the 149 donation. That is appreciated greatly. And, Vanessa Comigate, that's a great idea to use your dividends to pay for your real estate. That's exactly it the passive income to pay for the liability. Because until you get a return on your investment, your pre-construction is a liability because you, you're you not getting any money in return. So you have to be able to use passive income to pay for it if you can. That's the best way you want to do it. And so he's setting himself up to do it. Got to give him kudos. Got to give him kudos to that. That's how everybody should be operating. Even when you buy your home, you should have passive income coming back in because that liability, you want that. And quite frankly, you don't even sweat things that much when you know you your, your mortgage is 
three thousand dollars per month and you know you have passive income of eight nine ten thousand dollars per month and your mortgage is paid for clearly you're sitting there like ah uh, and now it's kind of funny how your mindset is because you're sitting there saying well let me see what am i going to do i think i'll go over here and buy this and put it there i think i'm going to go get this and put it there you you know you think totally different than when you have to work for it all the time and now you're doing your paycheck and your paycheck comes and it says okay you got four thousand dollars this week which is you know significant because that's how much you're gonna have to pay if you're gonna have a three thousand thirty five hundred you know mortgage and so you're sitting there going okay this is good but then you're gonna have what you know 30 percent of that is in credit cards so now you're sitting there going up what you make you're sitting there like damn i got 10 percent of that so this four thousand dollar check goes groceries credit cards right because people who make money they just get more and more credit cards that's not the way to do it and then uh then you say okay the mortgage my next check four thousand dollars our mortgage is thirty five hundred okay here goes that check goes to there then they're like oh your real estate taxes are a thousand your uh insurance is a hundred two hundred a car note whatever you got all this stuff now you're going okay there's two thousand there it's a lot different when you say hey i got eight thousand dollars coming in passively and it's just coming in the door now you're sitting there just going okay here's the money here's the money here's the money it's e a lot easier way to do things all right instead of having to do every weekly paycheck or every two week paycheck you don't even have to your whole mindset is totally different you feel free you feel like a sense of financial independence and everything's a lot better trust me ladies and gentlemen that's where you want to go when you can wake up at any time of day and you still handle business right that's the way to go all right all right yes uh, yes i think it would be vanessa exactly we talked about it. he he actually asked here in the nation he said eric which way should i go with this money and hey the way to go is put the money you always have the money and if you can get a re nobody thought 20 percent we knew we could get 18 19 20 we knew but when we go to 30 and 40, that changes everything. 30 and 40 means you're going to be able to use money and still keep increasing the amount of money because you're not going to take out all of it. Because right now he could sit there and say, you know what? He's going to spend $15,000 on this. I'm going, to, I'm going to go into the calculator again because this is exciting when you look at real numbers. Let me see if I can go to the Google calculator real quick. I'm going to do something real quick because he talked about something. Oh, yeah, we talked about it. A thousand twenty seven. That's what he has. A thousand. So a thousand shares generates eight hundred and thirty dollars per month. The next month, he's going to have whatever fourteen eight hundred dollars divided by 14. Right. Fourteen dollars. Um, what is that? Is that a uh, sixty? 60 yeah somewhere like 60 i think something 60 yeah 60 more shares he could have something of that nature so he could go into the following month he can have 1064 now it's almost like 900 dollars he could in theory just wait he could okay let me give you some i'll give you some play i won't even need the calculator now cuz i've already pretty much figured it out but in theory, he could do $15,000 across the board. He could be earning 40%, 50% across annually. He could sit there and say, okay, I'm going to put my $1,000 or $2,000 reserve down. I'm going to start my first payment two months from now. He could accumulate another 70, 80 shares. He could be 11, 1,200 shares, and he could be getting... $800 per month and he could have a $600 per month note. And he would have 200 that he can reinvest. Getting another 10 shares every month, 10 to 15 shares every month. Every next month he's got another 60-70 on top that's added. So he's not even going to be missing it and it's still going to be growing. So that's how simple this is for just 15 grand, which by the way the 15 grand could be a down payment and then he would still have to give the six or seven or eight hundred dollars per month to pay for his pre-construction property. Why do that? He should have the 15 and the 15 is still liquid. 
So you get the best of both worlds. It's not locked up like a CD or anything like he didn't buy gold. He didn't do nothing crazy like that. So it's a beautiful win, 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 ladies and gentlemen. All right. You're welcome, Eric. Yes. Thank you so much again for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Exactly. Says Vanessa Comigate. All right. Let's wrap it up. Because again, thank you so much for the donation, Brian P. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I love you very much. I appreciate your support. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. You smash the like button. Make sure you share these type of videos with other people because there's lots of people working nine to five that are sitting there putting their money into a 401k or investing themselves, and they have no clue that they could be getting whew, three or four times the return that they're getting annually. Ah, oh my God, it's incredible. Yes, letting the money work for you at these type of returns. Once you get to 17, 18, 19, 20%, that changes the whole ball game. Changes, but if you get to, if 30% is outrageous, 40% is life-changing because now it's just a matter of how much money can I get in there fast enough because I don't want this gravy train to end. And if this gravy train does end, I want to be in this gravy train for three, four, five years at this type of 30, 40, 50% return or 60% return. If you can get five years, my goodness, you have no idea. We're talking about simple things like $15,000, $10,000. If you get $6,000 and then it's $16,000 and that $16,000 are in 60%. Now you're at twelve or thirteen thousand dollars the following year, and then now that's twenty nine, thirty thousand. That's earning, oh my God, eighteen thousand dollars in year four. That's over a thousand dollars. That's fifteen hundred dollars per month by year four. Talk about shortening the timeline. I'd rather have the forty thousand, fifty thousand that I didn't even have to work for in three, four months. That's life changing. And you still have that and you can still get reinvestments. Now you're talking about getting some stupid numbers, $2,000 per month. And now you're sitting there. Pan I'd be starting to panic. I'd be like, damn, I don't want to even lose this. How, where, what happens if they stop doing this? What happens if I can't reinvest this anymore? I mean, this would start being crazy, crazy numbers fast. Five years, you're going to be happy. And especially if you're adding more money in this, along the way. Phew, man, the win-win scenario. Let me give you another win-win. We'll use Brian P. We'll use Victor Morrell. We'll use everybody. These guys have proper are going to have properties in Punicata or rental properties. Can you imagine the rental properties are giving you passive income? This that you put in is giving you passive income. Then you're putting all that money in here, and now you're compounding all of that. And some people would start saying, well, if you get $50,000 a year of passive income and you put that in there and you get 60%, that's $30,000. $80,000 year one from your passive income that you dumped in. Then you have your other passive income from re uh, reinvesting. Now, all of a sudden, that $60,000 is $100,000 because of the other money that's being reinvested. I mean, it can go fast. This is This is awesome. I'm excited about this. We're going to find out more. We're going to talk about this on Friday, too, because there's a lot of people who aren't going to see this live stream tonight there. I don't want anybody to miss out on this on Friday. I'm not even going to drop a video about it. If you missed a live stream for the next th two days, too bad. I'll drop a video probably the weekend and tell people about it so then they can do their research over the weekend. But nonetheless, it's all over for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for your input. I want to thank you for your insight. I want to thank you for your information. I want to thank you for your participation. And with all that said, please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here, but we got to shout it out to the world because if this lasts however long, 30%, 40% return on your money annually for any amount of years, is a godsend. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.